I was working at a waitress in a cocktail bar. This much is true. Bet it is, you mean. <laughs> oh no, I gotta hide everybody. It's too late. It's too late. No, it's not. It's Tricky's chair. Ladies and gentlemen, the Invisible Man. Tricky's chair is going to be auctioning off books tonight. How much? Let's play by that chair. Are we alive? We live! What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Tuesday evening auction. And that's kind of nighttime. It's kind of evening. It's only like 5 o'clock in California. It's, um, it's tonight. It's the early bird Grand Slam. I, I don't know. It's newt. It's kind of noon and night, so it's noot. Sure. Well, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all had a good day. We're having well, in the in the midst of a good day. Pip, What's pip, up, Cherry Economics? Hola, amigos. Steven Spock is in the house. You guys are seeing a lot of my hand. The camera's Ooh. on the wrong end. I'm going to flip it over. Ah, I'm on the ceiling. If the audio sounds bad now, let me know and I'll switch back. Because last week... What did, you, made... what did you say? What? Who? What? <laughs> um, last week it made a difference. I guess the maybe the direction I was speaking, the mic was on the other side or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> So if I'm having any audio problems, aside from my normal fucking glitched out robot uh, Max Headroom scenario, that's normal. That, that's going to happen. So, uh, but yeah, hope we're all doing well. Um, welcome back to another auction and claim sale, buy it now, bin sale. We're going to let the people trickle in and just sort of shoot the shit for a moment. Let's introduce our current panelists who are here, who are on time. Who could be bothered to show up? Where my cute Dano shirt for you guys? I didn't change. I don't have to change. It's all wrinkly. Snap his fingers and your nipples get hard. You got the other Just like Thanos. You should put on purple body paint and be Thanos for Halloween. I don't know. Hi. Hi. Look at that guy. Hi. Is it my turn? No, oh, I was just saying hi. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Hi. Now you're not even there. Oh, what? Hi. There's a chair again. Chair sighting. Bye. I hi, keep bye. going back. Hi. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Chicky's got some so cool stupid. artwork there. Let's marvel at that for a moment. Well, while we're waiting, we'll go over rules and stuff. If you're not, if you're um, not new to the channel or in general YouTube auctions, it's all the same thing. So if you're not new, now's the time. You know, go to the bathroom, get yourself a, a beverage, a, a snack, a little snacky snack. Finish Maybe up your din din. Whatever you got to do, wash your hands first. If you're going to the bathroom, I said that first. But, uh, be clean. Sanitize. Um, fuck. I don't know. Who's in here? <laughs> you know I am. in here? Talking to people. Keep up. Emmy just here. keeps. Emmy just keeps saying shit. Emmy's a shit sayer. What's up? Hey, Pop, how are you? Yeah. You big old nerd. Foot nerds. Playing some of that. 40 night stuff. 40 night night. Cool. What are you guys up to? There's 11 of you. I only see three of you talking. Where's everybody? Come on out. Come on out and play. Warriors, come out and play. All right. Freeze Comics. Hi. Hey, what's up, How Freeze? What's up, Freeze? There he save is. Us. Save us, Tricky. Please. So, okay. <laughs> is it my turn? No, just say hi. Oh, Whatever. hey guys, Go. uh, listen. Listen. Okay. Every time, every time a book sells, I'll be taking a drink of this. 
And let's see how crazy this gets. <laughs> Cat yeah. sixty. Cat sixty is coming out of drinking retirement to uh, the only do the shots. only thing okay. better than drunk drunk tricky is drunk J one A Bob. That is a good time. <laughs> he's a he uh. <laughs> He uh is pretty yeah he's pretty funny when uh, uh he's drunk <laughs> oh yeah uh, aren't we all cat's got a cat six he's got a drunken man crush yeah so, breeze I agree with this keep yeah, this comment tricky look at that Aww. oh man that's nice man thank you uh, you did a, you did a fine job nice man you know it's you know just a couple of years of acting class you know it ain't no big deal it was pretty, pretty humorous you know, I, just, I, I laughed. Slap my knee twice. I took this acting class at you know out of the closet, dusted it off. You know. He was he it was, was, he was, it was teaching John Travolta. Was, he was teaching John Travolta some stuff, and it was you know. it was hard to do without laughing, you know, because a lot of it just like was off the top and, and it ended up being stupid and funny. So it was a good time shooting. It, there was just it just so happened to be that way. He had he had some like. Like point two, point five Shang Chi's in real bad shape, and so that's just kind of what what we were rolling with. Something I could thrash on a little bit. So they were all his books, not mine. So those really were his books. <laughs> yeah, you, all, that that makes it even funnier now. <laughs> <laughs> they were all his stuff. So uh, yeah, it was funny. It was good. Good stuff. I still get a giggle. Oh, what is up, up. Pain? What's up? Hey, what's up, T Pain? Long time to see, man. Tell uh, your like friends. Week. Tell your friends to come on down and hang out with us today. Tonight. Yeah, share this with your friends and whatnot. If we hit even like forty people watching, I'll I'll do a pretty big giveaway. It'll be a good book. Um, and then like every ten after that, I'll do a you know a smaller book. So tell your friends, some, share it with and others, some, and some double A batteries too. I mean, <laughs> sound like a robot. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to hop out and back in. If you guys have any rules or Don't, regular shit, like payment stuff you want to go over or shipping prices, do that now. Be right back. Don't hop out. He thinks his shit's fucked up. <laughs> you're, you're muted. You're still muted. Oh, he's on the phone. Oh, great. All right, so I'm the little guy over here. Maybe I'll say something. I don't know what the hell to say. Um, how's everybody doing tonight? I have no control over this. I'm just here on the spot. <laughs> this is not an awkward moment at all. I, I mean, I'm used to being dicked over like this, so it's all good. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> Okay, so Tricky's on the phone when he could be auctioning. See, you see this. This is this is totally, totally just non-professional. I work with non-professionals, but I like it that way. <laughs> Wasting perfectly good screen time over here. <laughs> Come on, Tricky. Put you on the screen. Right. The auction. No, I'm gonna have a little phone call in front of people. Oh, look at me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what's more awkward: the fact that I'm the little guy having to talk. <laughs> Tricky's Tricky's making a fucking phone call. Both pretty good. I have I have a Ghost Rider lot. All right, uh, we're gonna start that at. I'm gonna start this at a dollar. Number thirty-two. Um, Number 35, number 41. Um, this one is 44. It's kind of, it's got a lot of things on the side, so don't even think about this one. But I'm tossing it in there. And number 49, $1. This is a newsstand. The one before it was a newsstand. Nice. There you go, some ghosty riding. Ghosty riding, ghosty riding, riding all around. He's on fire, he's on fire. I don't know what else to rhyme with that. Uh, cool. Make your shit big so they can see these books. 
appreciate them a little better. Mm. Oh, the flaming. See, like this, this one I said, it's got, it's been, it's yeah. been, been don't, even, don't even look at that one. Don't even count that one. Yeah, it's just, just in there. It doesn't count. It doesn't count towards the dollar value of this lot. <laughs> yes. Let me get rid of actually some of that. All right. Yeah. I forgot to go over the. Um, rules about starting lines and stuff but yeah once uh any before any auction or claim round we're gonna throw up a starting line usually with the price and whatnot and only claims or bids made after that starting line in the comments will be honored and we'll go from there so like here's an example of that one starting at a dollar and bam we are at a dollar me comics anybody like is free to bid anybody can jump in you just doesn't this is your first time here we encourage you bid jump on in don't be shy yeah, even if you don't pay, just bid. Yeah, sure. <laughs> At I least it makes me. us feel like we got a, a sale going. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Just bid, <laughs> even if you don't intend to pay. Uh, <laughs> good stuff. And I believe... uh. All, most, if not all of us will, um, as sellers, panelists, whatever, we will uh, oh, build a sorry. box with you so you can do like flat rate I'm shipping sure. costs and get a I bunch of books. And... Yeah, there's mm -hmm. an image on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Some of us might do like holds or temporary holds. Um, some of us take all sorts of payment methods. I'll, I myself, I'll take cash or money order, or even personal check. Well, that's it's on Chickens. me, whatever. But chickens. just the yeah, and chickens. If pelts. you could bring a couple chickens over, I'll mm -hmm. give you some books. Spices, herbs. But yeah, just uh, verify it with your seller right after the auction or for, prior to, if you're able to, and just make sure they take whatever payment method you have, and make sure they can ship to you. And this is the weirdest thing ever, man. You ever have books that are like kind of magnetically? And there's there's nothing sticky on them. No. I mean, I they know. just these two books seem to stick together. That's odd. <laughs> it's weird. It's the weirdest thing I've seen. Like, look. True. Yeah, that's odd. I mean, it, it, static it, these are these are stuck together, but there is nothing sticky on it at all. <laughs> on either of them, on the front or the back. It's weird. Uh, we have one minute left on the timer. Anybody can still get in. Once that minute expires, you'll hear a beep, and shortly after that, we'll drop an inline, and no, only bids made prior to that inline will be honored. So that'll be the end of the auction, and we'll go to whoever is the highest bidder. If there are multiple bidders, we will go until all but one fold. I'll just give these to Emmy. Well, I got 30 seconds. Who knows? I'm, there might be like a minute worth of lag. k pop saying you are you are a behind. Well, you yeah, are uh, a, you are a butt. You are an ass. If that's what midnight you suns. You are a behind. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> hey, sounds good. Yo, Jimbo, take your time. Joe Jimbo. Five seconds, guys. Last chance to get in. Steal these away from Emmy. You just gotta, gotta bid two dollars or more. Inlines are coming. Last chance. Last chance. Last chance for romance. Last chance for love. And there it is. Inline. These are going to go to Emmy Comics. That is a killer of a win. One dollar for all those books. A couple newsstands in there. Wow, good job. Good, good job, sir. Good job. Spank you, Emmy. Speaking of spank you. Just tagging some people. Hi, girl. Get them all in here. All right, so uh, how many people we got? We have 16. You know? All right. I got 13 on my end. What does it say? All right, you guys, go get, go get some, you know, I'll do a giveaway or something. Go, go get... We need we need forty live viewers. Okay, I will. Okay, everyone type here. Everyone type here uh, in the chat who who wants in on this giveaway. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna give the giveaway to you guys. But I need you guys to get us 40 live views. And what I'll do is I'll just do a sketch cover. I'll I'll give away a sketch cover to who's here now. Sound good? To everybody who's here? Everybody is of available available is able to get in on the giveaway. So it's it's <laughs> gonna be one one giveaway. Uh, I like it the other a, way, dude. It'll be a sketch no cover no to the people who are here. Yeah, one and three. No, us, I like my odds. We need to bring us those view those views. All right. So one you guys three. hit me up with let me just get a little pen. <laughs> I can kind of uh, echo that same thing. Uh, if anybody here who I already said I'd do a giveaway at 40 as well, but if uh, anyone who wants to hit me up on Instagram, share this to your stories, either on like Facebook or IG, whatever, and then take a screenshot of it or a picture of it, and then you send that to me. If you can like send me a direct message proving you did that, I will put you into a, a giveaway, and they're probably going to be like right. three or two or three of you that do it. So if you want to be Parker. have a really good chance to win a giveaway, do that. Parker. Parker's not a, a, a eligible. So we got Emmy, we got K-pop. You guys just say here if you want it on the giveaway. Once we get those 40 viewers, you guys got to go push it. Once we get the 40 viewers, Anthony, I will I will give it away to one of you guys. Okay, one of you. So say you're here if you want in on it, and then you guys got to – I mean, if you're saying here, you're obviously opting to go, to go uh, politic for the show. All right. You just stay here while you while you're here, and then I'll uh, put up my uh, uh, Brooklyn Lord of Brooklyn. I bet the Duke of Brooklyn don't like you very much. Um, all right, that's all that wants in. These odds are pretty good. These odds are pretty good. All right, the first lot I got. Uh, you got you're gonna run a timer for me, Parker, or no? Yeah, gotcha. All right. So, everyone knows this book's uh, heating up for no apparent reason. Okay, it's a high grade copy of this book. Grid Games here, and then I got this this book. Anyone knows? Anyone know what this is? Grid. This is a Lady Mandarin issue, right? Isn't the first at first first whatever? Watch your mouth, buddy. Uh, this is a new stand copy. Uh, uh, so when she becomes Psylocke, uh, this is the this is the issue where she basically becomes Psylocke, right? Uh, so I got one, two, three, four, five people in on the giveaway. You gotta be here. You gotta be here. I gotta say here, I got thirteen people watching, so that means that two, three, four, five, five people are the only ones that are actually listening. The other people are just at home. They got it sitting beside them. It came up randomly as a recommended video, and they're not even at home. Yeah, they're they got it playing while they're while they're making dinner. I'm gonna start this off at a dollar for this lot. So this book's on fire. Like uh, what? What is it? Like a twenty, twenty, thirty dollar book now? Retarded. And then this is a, a really nice copy of uh, this Mandarin. So it's uh, it's really clean, really clean. Brooklyn's in at five. Right on. What's up, Lord of He's Brooklyn? What's up, He's Red Game? It up. He's in at ten. He doubled up his his uh bid. I'm joking. But it is a nice newsstand copy. Disco Dave's in the house. Hey, Disco Dave's in on the giveaway. So if you didn't hear, I think you did, uh, because you put here, uh, you guys who are here get to be in a giveaway. And then I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end that here. By the end of my round, the the hears are done. By the end of my round, the hears you can't you can't enter it anymore. So by the end of my round, you can't enter anymore. Type here if you want it on the giveaway. Okay. Now after that, you guys gotta go tell people about the show and get us 40 live viewers. This happened. This has happened countless times on this channel. So uh, you're gonna go share it with your friends. Bring your new buddies. Get your people in here. Once we hit 40, 
I'll give it away to the people on my list. It'll be a it'll be a sketch cover, and I'll let you guys pick which one you want. I'll let you guys pick. I got a lot of cool ones in here. That's nice. Okay. What's up, Thomas? So I'll let you guys pick amongst those what you want. I'll let you pick the character that I draw on there. And I need to turn the fan on. <gasps> those books are too hot, my man. And as a uh, as it's so hot right now. While you're sharing this with your friends and posting it on your you know your story or whatever, just send me a screenshot of that, and then that'll enter you into an additional giveaway. So you guys are getting like three giveaways right now, right off the bat. We got Disco Dave at nineteen. I'm gonna fold because we got too much action. I only need the one book. Thomas Zarabinski, hope you're doing well. He as well loved your little what not mini movie. Very funny, very funny. Uh, that's awesome. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. As much as I enjoyed making. Got whoa, 22 seconds left, guys. 22 20. seconds left to enter the giveaway. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Remind them what to do one more time. All right. I'll stop. Type, pause in here, the time. type in here if you want it. Type in here if you want it on the giveaway. Type the word here. I'm here. Okay. The, the giveaway is a free sketch cover done by me. I'll let you pick which one I have through, through the books I have. Okay. It's a, it's a free commission, basically, on a sketch cover. All right. The, the way you enter is you type here right now. And by the end of my round, you can't type here anymore. And then what you have to do is you have to go tell people about the show. Get 40 people in here. 40 people is no big deal. We've had 40 people countless times. You're going to get 40 people in here. And once we hit 40, I'll give it to one of you guys. So I got seven people in now that Thomas is in. All right. We will resume the timer, even though... I think everybody's fooled, but Disco, so these books are his, but you got about 10 more seconds to enter this giveaway as of now. So just type Thanks, in here Disco. in the comments. Last Appreciate chance you, bid. Bro. All right, guys. All right, you in line are, coming down. You're locked into the giveaway. I got Emmy, K pop, Anthony, Lord of Brooklyn, Grid Games, Disco, Dave, and. Zero Binsky. Zoro. Come All right, Zorro. going once, going twice. All right. So In I'm going opinion. to go to my socials and I'm going to politic as well to get you guys the sketch cover. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we got 19 people here. We're getting there. We are halfway there. About halfway. Halfway That's to a good. bunch of giveaways happening. So. Tell your friends. And you guys tell them there's a giveaway, but don't tell them they're not allowed in. Yeah. <laughs> That's silly, nice. silly, silly, silly. <clears throat> Think that it's my turn. <clears throat> Here we go. We got a couple people already. I see at least Anthony Pena and K Pop have shared this to their story. So they're going to be entered into their own little giveaway now. So that's just giveaway on top of giveaway. That's all you got to do. Go share this to your stories. It can be on any social media. Maybe you don't have Instagram, but then just like, I don't know. Well, that you have to have Instagram. That's really the only way this works. He put, he put it in a story, Great Games. I think yeah. it's in a story. I put it on my yeah IG story. I never make posts about these. I keep my IG stuff, feed posts just about books I'm selling, but it's in my story. So you guys could screenshot my story. You can share my story. You could just press like the button right there. I think it says share, and then you can just well, post it on any of your things. Yeah, you know, you guys, if uh, instead of uh, also share it on your story, but grab three friends. Just grab yeah, that three too. That works and, too. Even if you just share it with 
I mean, the more the merrier, but share it with like one person that you know watches auction. Like, oh, I got an auction buddy or a comic dude. I'll, yeah, I'll just send them the direct friends, message. We'll get there. We'll get there in no time. Yeah. Say, hey, just, I, I need your support on this auction, on this giveaway. Come, come show up to the show. There you go. Yep. That's the only way you guys are going to get the, the sketch giveaway going. Got to hit 40 for that. So, but yeah, just prove to me, send me a screenshot that you shared it with a couple people or whatever, and then you, boom, I'll put you in. So I got like three people in that. So you have a one in three chance of winning. So why not? Share this with your friends. Here's my round. Hey, Cat Six, do you want a giveaway book? Nah. Yeah, we're going to make it. Nah. We should be giving cat books. We should. Right. Um, here's my round. Instead it of, is going to start at... Let's give you a price. You already gave them herpes. You mean you're going to give them books too? Ooh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I got a few of these. What was it? The, what's the event called? Forever Evil, I think. The DC thing. Um, these are the non lenticular versions, which are actually there's less of cooler. Them. They're cooler, Almost. easier to see, less print count. Um, yeah, regularly I sell them for at least four or five bucks each. Is I that figured, Jolter? What's that girl in the front? Killer Frost. Killer Frost. Oh, that's nice. Livewire would have been the other one. I think you might have been thinking. I got of, you. Looks yeah, kind of like Livewire. Uh, start this at ten bucks. So that's just two bucks each, I think. We're just under. Oh, that's rad, man. That's a great price. One, two, three, four, five. There's five of them. So ten dollars, two dollars each. I'll go through them. Killer Frost. They're all near mint minus near mint candidates. All of them are in the nines. All high grade, slab worthy books. You got Lex Luthor, Metallo, Mongol. Ocean Master, Killer Frost. That's so a Justice League, a Superman, a Superman, a Green Lantern, and an Aquaman book. All from the New 52 run. Yeah. Yeah, the worst one's like a 9-0. You know, they're all near mint minus. Minus ten dollars starting bid. Again, share this with your friends. Share it to your stories. Send me a screenshot of either. I'll that'll enter you into another giveaway. And then once we hit forty people, I'll just do a straight up random giveaway that everybody can get in on. But hitting that forty gets they'll select like seven or eight of you into Tricky's little giveaway. So the night of a thousand giveaway. That was really cool. Don Corbin. Cool, 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 cool. Mongol. I think we're getting Mongal, the female Mongol in the Suicide Squad movie. I think she's going to die right away. An Ocean Master. I don't know if oh, I gave she's him not going to die right away. I do want that first appearance, though, if anyone's got it. Hey, what's up, Mongo. W? I don't have first. Mr. W, he's he's from, hey. he's over there from whatnot. He's over there hitting the thumbs up. Thanks. That's fantastic, bro. Um, no bidders. Uh, I had one additional add-on I was going to offer. If we hit 20, but I don't think there's any interest in it, but had we hit 20, yeah, I mean, last chance, you can still jump in at 20 if you want. I do have a lenticular version of the black hand one. And there is some black hand spec lately. His first appearance and origin book have been fucking skyrocketing. And those lenticulars have a habit of hitting nine nines. Mm -hmm. well, this is a near mint copy. I can't guarantee a nine nine, but I'd say it's a nine eight or better. You never know. So that would come in at twenty. All the other ones were at ten. Uh, last chance to bid is now because I'm gonna go type in the inline, and any bids placed after the inline will not be honored. Thank you, Mr. W. If everybody else could go leave a thumb too, that'd be sweet. That'd be swell. <sighs> Whatever. In line, in line, in line. Coming at you. All right, so thanks. $20 buy it now. Hit me up on IG if you guys want all these villain books. Bring on the bad guys. All right, cool. So that's my round. Uh, I will be back in a little bit. We're going to move it over to Cat. Category 16.
Theoretically. Maybe. Maybe one of these things. Parker goes black. He never came back. All right. All right. So I have, I'm going to start this at 30 bucks. I have Weiches, number one. Man, I like some Weiches. Weiches. Like me some Weiches. Yes. This is minty, 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 minty. So. Wow. We got T Pain jumping in because he wants us some witches. Haven't we all married some too? Married to one now. So if you don't know, this is uh, Scott Snyder. Um, this is option. Harvey Way because it's a good story. I sold my last I sold my last set for cheap and I'm not I'm not selling any more sets again. <laughs> because every day these things are going up and up. Whiteches. Whiteches. Have you ever have you ever made out with a white? Well, like I said, I'm married to one. Oh shit. What's his name? Steve. <laughs> he sounds like a real bitch. <laughs> he sounds hideous. <laughs> He's a chick. <laughs> He's one of them transgenders. <laughs> Transgenders. What? Yeah. What are they? They're like. What are they? What does it mean? What do they call them when they're born with both? Uh, hermaphrodite. Yeah, one of them hermaphrodites. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that. No, no. I mean, that that would be fantastic to be able to have both. <laughs> I'd be on top of the world right now. Well, you kind of do. You just. You know. Just got to lube up the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smush it together and make it look like a coochie. The thing is, can you get yourself you're, pregnant? You're a dirty bastard. <laughs> uh, can, yeah, you have, can you make your own kid alone? <clears throat> I hope so. Oh, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Can you shoot inside yourself? And It'd probably come out not looking too smart. <laughs> It'd be like incest, right? Like oh, yeah, incest. If, I, if I was if I was one of those, I'd never leave home. <laughs> uh, that that people have wondered why you've not ventured out of your house for <laughs> for for sixty years. Yes, then I have kids. It's cat sixty. He's never been out of his house for sixty years. <laughs> uh, Bert, you, you already you already got a set of these, man. I'm not selling another one. But 25, 20, 20 seconds left. T Pain's gonna walk away with this one. T Pain's picking up all the indies. What a man, yeah. what a man, 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 what a all right. All right. I'm going to drop the in line, guys. This is your last chance to bid. I'm going to cover about 10 seconds for any lag, but that is it. He's going to go to T Pain. This is good book, Scott Snyder. I like that book. Hey, did you get those? Did you get those books already, Mr. Uh, for maybe. Uh, I haven't gotten my mail yet. It's all at my dad's. <clears throat> That's where my mail is at, at your dad's. At my dad's, right? Yeah. He, he told me he was my father too. <laughs> cool. Good. 
Good one, bro. Good one. <laughs> good, right. good disc, Thank bro. You, Mr. Payne. Good disc, bro. Good brotherly disc, bro. Listen, it's this right. makes our relationship a little bit ancestral, doesn't it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a really cool lot. Okay, so get a load of this. Real cool. Um, well, first we just have a uh, a little. Who did draw this? This is a Mark Silvestri cover. Uh, Wolverine versus Lady Deathstrike. Okay. I have the first appearance in a newsstand of the lady who becomes Lady Deathstrike, which is this uh, little baddie right here. Okay. It's in a newsstand. It's a high-grade copy. Uh, you will, will not be disappointed. It's got Bullseye on the cover. I think it's a Frank Miller cover. Could be wrong. Why is Bullseye so big? I could be wrong because he's just he, – he took a, a growing pill. And I have the first appearance of Lady Deathstrike. This needs a clean and a press. Uh, there's nothing – okay, maybe he – it's it's not a 9-8, okay? I'll say it is a high-grade copy after a clean and a press. It's not a 9-8. First appearance of Lady Deathstrike in a Mark Jewelers, okay? Whoa. So, it's a Mark Jewelers. It needs a, it needs love. It's not. Uh, so this you know one's got a little. Got a little. You know what else needs some love? You. But uh, yeah. the spine's pretty clean. I'm sorry about the camera, guys. It, What's the price? You will have to trust that a uh, that the spine that that it's a nice book after a clean and a press. Um, the price starting with twenty bucks. Twenty so You got first appearance of the lady who becomes Lady Deathstrike. Um, this is a uh, this is a, <clears throat> a newsstand copy. And people are sleeping on those freaking alpha strokes, man. Let me check. This this may even be a Mark Trueler. Let me look. Let me look. Oh shit! Where did all these people come from? We're already at thirty-eight. Damn, that escalated quickly. All right, it's not. It's not. Getting out of right, getting out of hand. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous now. All right, so first appearance of the lady who of the gal. What's her name, Parker? Uh, it's like Yuriko or Mariko. I think it's Yuriko. All right, first appearance of er Yuriko. Yuriko. Yuri Yuri Eko. <laughs> Just a little Marshall Vest. Don't worry, got the. Don't worry, we got the robot. First appearance of Lady Deathstrike in a Mark Jewelers. That's a good Needs book, right? There. Needs a clean and a press. Shaving a haircut. It's what a else? Up book. What else needs a clean and a press? <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, her first appearance, and then the first time she becomes Lady Deathstrike. <laughs> needs a clean and a press. In a Mark Jewelers. Mark Jewelers. Stacy. They call her Stacy. It's a Mark Jewelers key <laughs> issue. People like those, right? All right. Dude, we're I'll, at 20 I'll bucks. Minute. Yeah, I mean, you'd be, not, you'd be crazy not to. I'll bid a clean 21. Let me get on my phone. How many people we got, really? 37. 37. <laughs> awesome. Great number. All right. Burke's in at 20. Brooklyn's in at 20. Parker's in at 21. How did it jump so quick? Everybody told a friend. Everyone said, everyone reached out to two people or three people and they said, hey, bro, what is this get, nonsense? On, get on in here. First, so appearance give me a of, first appearance of Jumpsuit Girl, who becomes Lady Deathstrike. First appearance of Lady Deathstrike in a Mark Jewelers. It's a nice copy. It needs a clean and a press. After that clean and press, you should be pretty happy about it. How about that? People are sleeping on the Alpha Strikes. Alpha Flights. And then we got a nice Sylvester Alpha cover. Alpha Flight. Lady Death Strike and her scratchy Damn ball it. fingers. Could you imagine being able to scratch scratch your back and balls with that with those things? Mm. Yeah, was that? Dang. That'd be nice. Hey, what's up? Uh you have the you have the Mark Jewelers? Do you have it in a Mark Jewelers Apex? That's the question, bro. You need to add it to your your uh, Lady Death Strike uh, collection. Well now you can have two of them. Yeah, and you could have doubles. And you nothing wrong know. with doubles. I have doubles of everything. Look, I have one, two, three, four, five copies of, of Avenger Seventy. They're doing a uh, gamma flight now. It's like Hulk version of Alpha Flight. Double licious. You guys are crazy not not coming in on these. 
We're at 25. What's our timer at? Like a minute? Yeah, let's check it. We got one minute left on the clock, guys. One minute left. We're at $25. We just need a bit of 26 or more. Anybody can get in. And I we got to figure out this chick's name. Celia, though. What is her name? Um, Lady. Yuriko Oyama. All right, Eureka. We got a first appearance of Eureka. What, we got a cover what, with Lady Deathstrike. We got the first time she becomes Lady Deathstrike in a Mark Jewelers. Her Is that a dare? Or Darkwing? Which one? Which oh. one was it? The um, thirty-three. The, uh, Daredevil. Oh, Daredevil is uh one ninety one ninety-seven. Jane. All right, I got some buy nows. Uh. You got some buy it nows. So these are fifty dollars buy it nows. Basically, I draw on them for you. Uh, Yuriko Oyama. Yuriko Oyama. Yuriko um, Oyama. These are basically just commissions. Uh, you pay fifty. I draw whatever you want on the cover. Nothing's too crazy uh, for me, but I will not draw you or your wife as a comic book character. I won't draw people as comic book characters. Will you draw us naked, though? I'll draw you naked, but you're the only one. And and the funny part is is that he doesn't even have to... I don't have to send him a picture. He already knows. I already know. I, already, I can picture it uh, pretty well. <laughs> um, but uh, I have drawn... I've drawn... I've drawn gals. I've, I've drawn some gals nude. So if you just wear some curly hair... Like put a wig on Cat Sixty, like a, like a curly blonde one. I'll have, you, you. have you drawn on girls? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Back in the day, I've done that before. He draws yeah, guys draw on whiches. girls. I'm gonna draw those whites. I'm gonna draw some whites on you. Nice. I draw whites on sketch covers. All right, guys. Uh, so we got Lord Lord's folding. Anyone else was in on this? I don't see anyone else. Burke. Did Burke fold? Um, Burke, fold. Yeah. Burke, Burke, dig deep and hard. Do you want these, my friend? Do you want do you want these first appearances in a Mark Jewelers or not? Who else? Who else? Parker folded. Parker folded like like a. He folded. He like somebody. He folded like an old lady uh, sitting in the corner of a nursing home, not being invited to go play, to come over and crochet, but then being invited to come over and crochet. He's like, okay. <laughs> um, that's stupid. All right. Thanks, Thomas, man. 30 bucks. <laughs> that's a great <laughs> That's a great pickup, man. I'll throw it in your box. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, Parker. Get on your game. It's your turn. All right. I'm back. <laughs> Parker looks, That's funny. Parker looks good bit, bitter. Good one. Good funny. grandma. Joke. You know, think of think about how butt her grandmas are when they don't get invited by the other grandmas, and then and then all of a I sudden they do. Me, They're folding. They're like, "Oh, I can put this puzzle together with you." Yes, <laughs> I'll fold and come over to you and put that puzzle together. Always oh, invite your grandma to bingo. <laughs> It's I'll a chick. Uh-oh. Nerds, nerds <laughs> don't get along with chicks, do they? Uh, I don't know. They don't get along with uh, lesbian chicks, but nobody does, so. Well, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> They're mean. They're just Jeez, mean. Right. That's a generalization. I've met, a, I've met a couple who are real sweet. Jeez. Um, 
I learned like all kinds of terminology about like lesbians. Like my friend, she's best buddies with one, but I didn't know what the term gold star lesbian meant. I don't know what that means. Didn't what you is know? that? Enlighten me. Do any of you guys know what that means? It means um, a chick that's never had a wiener in her. That's a gold star lesbian, like a a, a, so, a lesbian, so, a lesbian that's never my pedigree. You know, so that's me. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. basically me. Ask her basically, if she wants to lose me. the gold, the gold star title. No, bro. Hey, what's up, Captain Beardo? What's up, bro? Hey, Cap, are you a gold star? I mean, sorry, yeah, Cat, are you a gold star lesbian? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm a gold star lesbian. <laughs> all of all y'all are good gold star lesbians. Well, Parker's not. Parker's not. He's had. No fuck. He's had plenty to you. He's a Parker's. A, Parker's a lady boy. Does just the tip count? <laughs> not hey, guys. That's the biggest part. I hope it counts, or otherwise I'm a virgin still. Mm. <laughs> so what's right. up, lady? Goddamn turn is it? Mine. You, probably. It's ladies' turn. Well, somebody goes so first because I'm not. I don't have my shit together yet. He said it's his, and then he left. I I meant to boost like solo <laughs> stream, and I hit remove stream. <laughs> the buttons are right next to each other. All right, what's up, Captain Beardo? What's up, Apex? What's up, Sean? All right, all right, all right. Is Sean, what are you talking about? I don't see no damn Sean here. It's way you got to scroll way way up there. Oh, okay. really? You're yeah. that you, you go that far. I go all the way. Did you say hi to Cheese? Hey, what's up, Cheese? You gotta say, say hi to Cheese. You have to say Cheese. Cheese. Did you say hi to Disco, Disco Dave? We got I did earlier. Yeah. Disco. Okay. Did you say hi to Captain Beardo? Yeah, yeah I just did, did like a second ago. Oh, I don't listen to what you say, so. Yeah. Did you ever say hi to Grid Games? Mm, I didn't. I probably didn't. What a dick. What a dick. Fuck you, Parker. You're fired. What Close does again. Parker have? Uh, other than herpes, that. he's got some comics. Yeah, did you did you say to uh hi to Jacob? Jacob Stepan. Hello. Hello friends. Welcome. Welcome all. Oh. I have two. Oh, that's so in. general. That's that's so general. Give him a personalized hello. Come on, they're worth it. <laughs> All right, two Thor. I wonder why nobody's coming. I hate you. <laughs> nobody's <laughs> come around me in a long time. There's other. Reasons. We can we can get up to forty if you could just freaking be personal with people. Oh, I think we is, hit thirty eight or thirty nine, and then just went back down. You guys, you peaked this, right before the. Get, we were right at the finish line. You guys tripped and went back. What are you doing? Uh, these are uh, cool covers. So I got two Thor books, and you're starting on here. Well, <laughs> they're meant to buy it now. They're ten dollars each. Um, okay, I'll get your starting line. I'll start this at fifteen for the pair. I got your starting line. Thank you, thank you. Fifteen dollars start. Um, if they don't go separately, you can buy them individually for ten. You but said you said fifteen starting bid. Fifteen starting bid for the pair. You get both books, both nice. Newman, Christine, Arthur Su Suidam, Suidam variants. One is zombie, one is regular. <laughs> Do you say so? I say Sidam. Is that is that wrong? I think it's Sudam, but I say Suyadam. Su <laughs> well, when I seen him, when I seen him from behind, I said Sidam. Sidam. He, he had a nice woman butt. He had a nice woman butt. Sidam. S u y d a m. Sweetam. She paints in at fifteen. Okay. Anthony had it, but his dog ate it. That's savage. The zombie <laughs> one. This is the 2007 run. This was the last decent Thor run before they turned him into a woman. Woman. She's a woman. Woman. Well, if you read it, you would know he didn't turn her into a woman. Oh, I'm, I'm just being whatever. I'm gonna shut your. I'm gonna chop your nuts off. Good luck finding them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they haven't descended. Oh, I know. It's like Christmas colors in the trade dress. Christmas. Um, at twenty-five, not seeing a lot of actions, but uh, if you want to go up to twenty-five, I'll throw in the Turner. Door number one. It's the same book. Three copies of the same book, all just different, pretty covers. 
if you want the Michael Turner goodness. Whoa, man. This comes in at 25 $10 more. Nah, make it, number one? make it 20 $20, I'll throw in that. Right? Fuck it. $20, I'll throw in the Turner. This is number one. 20 bucks, get you out. Thor, Michael Turner, goodness. Zombie, Suyadam, Suyadam, Sudam. And the regular, the non zombie Suyadam. So you get a menage. You get a menage of Thor. A menage of Thor. Yeah. Menage of Thor. Naja Thor. 20 bucks. T Pain's in. They're all all books are in. Can't have much time left. Just over a minute. Jacob. Right, one sec. We're missing some people. We're missing some people in this chat. We can't expect these guys to have to live lives. Get in here. <clears throat> Twenty nine. We're what? We're ten away from the giveaway, guys. Ten away. Okay. If um, I have more Thor from the same run, I can add in. So I got issue six. Arthur Adams. You get double Arthurs in this lot. Arthur Adams. It's a variant cover. And then issue seven. Variant cover. These will both come in. And they will be bagged and boarded. Um, these would come in at 25. So two more Thor variants. Comes in for five bucks more. And then I have a variant of number seven. I always like that that Thor outfit. Yeah. It's better than that one with the P on it. What's the P stand for? Parker. What Don Cates when he he's got a big P he's got on a, his chest. Got, he's got a goddamn head he's got a headdress on that one. <laughs> oh um sorry, this was this would have come in at thirty. But Make it twenty six for a dollar more. I'll throw this in for one more one more dollar. That was the timer. So we're at T Pain. One of the other ones in at twenty five. So those are in at twenty five. If he wants to go to twenty six, I'll throw this one in. Anybody can still get in at any time. I'm about to drop the inline though, so um, this is your last chance. At twenty six, this comes in, Would and at a whole. We'll go up to the round number of 30. I can add this. Oh, yeah. This other yeah, one. Yeah. Thor 416. Nice red cover. Cool red would cover. You like an, would you like me to drop an inline for you? I got it. I'm going to do it right now. I just wanted to cover any um, lag we might have had. And as I was still adding books. But yeah, if you want to go up to 30, T Pain. Otherwise, all the modern Thors are yours at 26. So this will go up to at 30 bucks. But I'm gonna chop in line, drop me in line. Nobody beats it to it. <clears throat> Alright, cool. So in line and cheap ends in at 30. So the whole lot Thor's are for him. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. We will I think we a lady fantastic. Alright. Oh just one chicken. We got an indie lot here and among them are let's see and i'm going to start this lot off at ten doll hers ten doll ten doll hairs so here we go um we've got the cherry blackbird number one um first print a cover um it's still in the bag that it came in uh i don't know if you guys know about this but the opening scene, um, I'm just going to tell you, a uh, couple is in the bed, and uh, the dude, uh, the dude wants to get some up the up the booty, and so the lady goes and grabs this dildo to give it to him, but 
before that happens, a demon comes outside of the asshole of the dude. And then the lady has to fend off the demon with the dildo. It's amazing. Get this book. Uh, the second book, um, Hulk, num Hulk number one, uh, Millar. Oh, there you go. Um, Vampire State Building, number one. It's not that great. Um, Silver Coin, number three. Bid, uh, sorry, B cover. We have that. I think this is B cover. I could be wrong. Why are they stealing your life story? And this is interesting. This is with Titan. Uh, yeah, Titan Comics, The Evil Within, number one. So, yeah, Ooh. exactly, Emmy. Was that an, it is an endorsement. So, yeah. Did you like those movies, uh, lady? I did not watch The Evil Within. I thought it was a video game. Oh, yeah, it is. Maybe it is. Yeah, it's a video I'm game. I'm thinking let the right one in. I'm stupid. I'm pretty, because I'm pretty sure I played this video game. You, you're like, right. PS3. You're right. You are correct. Um, yeah. <laughs> Cherry Blackbird, but it is a total endorsement. It is amazing. Um, yes, because it's really funny. Uh, Black Car uh, Caravan, subsidiary of Scout Comics. First print, still in the bag. Um, so there's that. And this is Huck, number one. It's a Millar book. Um, Then we've got the Vampire State Building, number one. Very campy cover. We've got Silver Coin, number three. Pretty sure this is a B cover. Correct me if I'm wrong. And the Evil Within, number one. Yeah, Tan Tango Game Works. These are cool. Donkishin. Uh, this is the B cover. It looks like because it says one two one. So um, yeah, this is a B cover. Cover B on the silver coin. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, sir. Let's see if there's anything I can throw in there. Um. Let's. See throw in if it hits where are we at so this started at 10 if this hits 20 ooh, okay if this hits 20 I am going to I'll throw in Django and Zoro number one Gotta hit 20, though. That's Jay Lee on the art. That is a bad booty cover. So. Matt Wagner teams up with Quentin Tarantino. Hell yeah, dude. Wagner was on the Grendel. So, anyways. Um, some will go to 20, and then this will go. It Django and Zora will come in. And if not, we can just continue on with 14. That's fine. Thank you, Mr. Kitty Cat. How clean is that Zorro cover? You already have a crappy version of it. Let's see. Shall we do a spine slide? I think it's time. I'm going to try to get it to focus. Apologies if it doesn't do it like... Ah, oh, damnable. Sorry, if I smash him, it seems to do better. So what you been up to, lady? <clears throat> Way better than mine. Man, I have been really, really busy with work. Um, starting a new project. Uh... 
trying to discover, discover if there's potential crosstalk between the Seagas sting axis and the NLRP3 inflammasome. It's all stupid. Right. Sounds yeah, it's some stupid. bullshit. Anyway, basically, like, if someone asked me what I did, honestly, on a daily, daily basis, um, I would say I would mu I'll move very, very small liquids from one uh, tube to another. I do that basically. in the toilet. I do, that do you? The it's, it's even smaller than that. I don't think, I don't it's, think smaller it's smaller than mine. mine. What is it that you do? Me? I, I work in a biochemistry lab. Moving small liquids into other small liquid tubes. Like my wife, my wife Can used to work for Quest, and in the, she used to work in the lab. And uh, they back in the day when they used pipettes to. Suck Why are you telling me to shut blood. up? You turd butt. Turd butt. Favorite kind of butt. All right, what's the deal? Who wants to fight? <clears throat> Apex is in it to win it. Did I say at fifteen or twenty? Twenty. I said at twenty. I would throw in the. Um, yeah. You're yeah. at 16 already for, for four bucks that Zorro is a steal. You don't know what Huck is, but, well, it's by Mark Millar, who's a pretty decent writer. Um, you could also always ask the Google machine. The Google machine. What's up, Mr. Albright? Hey, William, what's up, man? <clears throat> but this is an amazing book. Like, what's that? Like a ten-year timer, Parker? Or what? Yeah, is there a timer? Hey, uh, uh, sure. I mean, it's kind of <laughs> arbitrary, I guess. Hey, we got a we got a hammer over here. Bro. Twenty. Okay, he goes for it. Same. Goes for the gusto. Yeah, yeah. that there's that, that was an easy call if you're at seventeen already. <laughs> Alright, 17, 20, 21. And Parker enough of this tomfoolery. Yeah. He said, bitch at me for a timer. I'll set one right now. I'll just do it. Yeah, and <laughs> they don't need a timer. I mean, that book alone, that book alone could be 15 to 20 bucks. I'm after the cherry and the fucking uh, evil within book. You have the cherry and evil within. Yeah. Don't um, skip I, out on that Django. That that's uh, I'm serious. That's a fifteen dollar book easy. Um. The uh, I've got an extra cherry. If you if you uh want one, Parker. I mean, how does that happen? I don't know. Hasn't, it, hasn't it been popped like a million times by now? Yeah. Goodness There's great. a thing that you can do. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Parker's getting all, all weirded out. It's because he has a cherry phobia. There's a belly button thing, again. Yeah, he's, he's like in those umbilical cords. Get after the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. That was really lame. I, yeah, that's a good lock. Welcome to that's... Django. <laughs> we got fun and games. His name is O. The Jang is silent. It's not funny at all. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> What's up, Southern kind of dude? What's up, Southern? Dude, it is good, Apex. It is good. Silver coin's cool. I read the first issue. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things. This will make me need to get issue. Mm -hmm. What is this one more book thing? One more book. Oh, do you want me to like throw in another book or something? Well, oh, more book. That Always. Always? Grab, okay. grab another indie. You, put it right, you can just stay I'm here. Down. You can just stay Listen, here all day. Gonna, grab an Andy or grab your undies and put them. In. I'm grabbing an Andy. Or some undies. Uh. First gold lesbians now. Undies works for Apex's comics as well. So. 
We're going to grab... Comics and undies. The second print nice. of the electric black number one. Indies and undies. Yeah, no one has pulled it. It's so. pretty hardcore. It is pretty hard to get. But I, no, it's I hardcore one. that no it's hardcore that no one's folded. I got one. So Black Caravan, the same folks that did the uh, Cherry Blackburn, uh, they are the, the publishers of this, which they're a small subsidiary of uh, Scout Comics. That and that is in production. By uh, the guys who did yeah, by the guys who did Rick and Morty. In production, folks. Second print. Not in many of these out there. How much gets that one in? How much gets the electric black in? Yeah. Um. Thirty million. Four more dollars. Thirty. Thirty mil. Thirty. Dirty, turdy. Dirty, turdy. Dirty, dirty scurdy. You've been stocking up on uh, silver coin. I think that is a, probably a very uh, smart idea. Um, indie what horror the? has been on point lately. Horror? Whores. Indie whores. Horrors. Go huck yourself. Cat's, the cat's favorite indies are whores. Yes. Yes, yes. Whores, whores. You said whores? Golden lesbians. Have it's you seen any star holes? lesbians? Do it for the lesbos. Oh, Parker went in for thirty. Do it for the lesbos. Let me get the second Save one. Horse rattles. Petey Pocky. Petey Peter Parker packed up or picked Pack up. Packed up. Pack up. Pack up. Pack up. Pack up. Prince. He picked a peck of pickled prints. That's a big, video game. Big. This is the B cover of it. B video game. I kind of think that they said that like 20 times already confirmed that it was a video game. Who said what 20 it? times? You you and uh, Tricky. That's a comic. It's a comic. Are you getting sassy with me? Sassy. What the heck? So we got two folds. That means, what is it? Parky still? Parky is the one standing? Parquet is still in. And Lords of Brooklyn, maybe. Oh, yeah. Lords of Brooklyn. You'll just keep your beat up in there. Well, now that I know from SDOS, I shall keep my eye out. Lords of Brooklyn, you should you should go ahead and take that lot because Parker's just going to resell it. No, I'm not. I'm keeping all these probably. No, Parker no. will resell it. Nah, -uh, not that one. Or the cherry, or the Django, or the electric black. The silver coin, I'm gonna have to buy issue two, or sell the third one. I'll probably just buy issue two. So first skunk girl, I'm pretty sure is Miss Marvel uh, thirty one. Pretty sure. Hook I have. I'm gonna sell hook. That's some, I won't lie about that. I've already got one. You already got a hook. I already got a hook. You fold it. Okay. Okay. Mine. 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 Give me. All right. Thank. Thank you. Give me. Give me shock treatment. I want. I want a shock treatment. I think cat is next. So yeah. That that logo is clean. It's kind of offensive, but I love it. <laughs> Makes me aroused. Voloki, number one. And just uh, for a little kicker, we'll throw in uh, Loki, Agent of Atlas, Atlas, number eight, which is first cover appearance of Loki as a chick. I'm going to start this at $50, um, only because there's this one tick on this one. I'm an idiot. Right it's the here. other side, you silly geek. Let's see if you can see it. It's, it's tiny, but it's it's because it's a red cover. It's highly noticeable. Right where the staple goes in. So, $50. Sick, sickly. 
The other one is minty minty. Fifty dollars. Man, we were like one or two away from our our giveaway goal. And we're down to twenty three. Now, now look at us. Go reshare this with everybody. Go, go do it again. Start over. Go share it again. Redo. 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 Control Alt Delete. Start over. It's because I came on and everybody was like, Whoa. "How'd you kids? How'd you laugh?" Yep. <laughs> eBay is dirty. eBay's like been Loki. doing it dirty. I like that Loki show. It's been good. The last one, eh, we'll see what they do. The next one. Last one was a throwaway. It, it was uh, a talkie. It was, it was a talkie, and I liked it. I think uh, okay. we're going to get a big shift with the next two episodes, and I'm really hoping they just dive right into doing like. Amortis or Kang, and then just do a whole origin for that. Like, you get a whole new character out of nowhere. It just takes a whole shift. I got kind of nervous. I thought they were going to do each other. There was that moment where I'm like, are they going to kiss? What? Yeah, that was that was really weird. It's funny. La da 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 da. We got two minutes left on the clock. <laughs> Vote Loki. You just wait, what, two more episodes and they're going to do the whole, like, Loki's going to have that little Vote Loki pin on his lapel and then that book is going to blow up. Boom. So that's when the the commons see it and are exposed to it. and Like, what? There's a President Loki book? Boom. All right, there's a key. Shit. I got to have him. I mean, this one's already in play. Yeah, they're already kind of doing the, the agent Loki thing. And, I like and this one is going to come in to put into play. This is a tough book to get in any decent shape. Ugh. I wish I would have bought them when it came out, but I remember looking at it like, this is stupid. Because it, it came out during like the midst of like the fucking yeah, Trump right. election shit. And I was like, I don't, I've got enough politics right now. I don't need this stupid book. <laughs> and lo and behold. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a 50 to $60 book um, on its own. All right, 30, just under 30 seconds left. If anybody can still get in, it's $50 starting bid. Don't be shy. That's cool, promiscuous. I don't think you're going to get a uh, outbid if you did. So, But the time to do so is a tick, tick, ticking. Oh, I got the down. Very, 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 very. Back, back, back. No love for the Loki. There it is. All right. In line's coming down. How many, how many of these do I have? I don't know. Probably five more. Cool. Cook a cook a cool. I don't, I don't buy. I don't know how to buy one. Yeah. Well, if you're how gonna, do you do uh, that? Right. The more you buy, the more you save. So it's like, why would I just buy one if I can get m more for less? You know, like, you know, like, you know, whatever. Juba. Jubilation. You're muted, you goon squad. Don't let him know. Let him keep going. Really tricky. Are you sure about that? Yeah, really? You're on mute, booger booger. <laughs> I really wasn't. I really wasn't talking. I, I said it was a damn clean book. That's it. Uh, it's a damn clean book. First, it's a high grade Sylvester cover. First appearance of Jubilee. Okay. Starting off at a dollar. Grids in at a dollar. It's a. It's a nice copy. 
you will not be upset about this book. No, cash him at a dollar because I'm after the start line. Oh, man, Brooklyn. I can't get so close to my camera because it gets blurry, but if I could get close, you would see. That it is minty, minty, fresh. That it is a nice book. Lord, Lord's in at 115. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you might as well drop the hammer on these. You know what? We're... Here's the, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna dollar we're gonna dollar this book up to a, a ridiculous price. So someone just dropped the hammer. You guys know what it's worth. You guys know. Uh, let me get to the corners here, so you guys can see these corners because they're sick. Uh, if I can get to them without uh, it being blurry, which it doesn't look like I can. They're just all super sharp, super sharp corners. It's a high grade book. Definitely near mint. You know, honestly, I don't like I don't like when people tote about nine eight candidates or anything. But uh it's got it's got potential to be that high of a grade. I don't I don't I don't look at it and say that's not a nine eight. That's, that's just me personally. No, no, Thomas, I didn't get this from you. I got this from that Comic-Con I went to uh, a couple months back. Ooh. I was actually going to... I was going to start it at 40. I was going to, but well, Grid put it... Why would you do that? Because it's expensive. You it's say, expensive. like... 70 bucks it's like an 80 dollar book uh let's check out let's check out those let's let's foil let's foil this uh let's foil this book <laughs> uncanny x-men foil it just don't soil it i'm gonna soil this book just don't rip out pages and put them in your pocket silly willy i saw <laughs> i saw 75 well, we're at one. We're at one fifteen on this book. <laughs> Two forty four. So I'm going sold. I'm just gonna go sold. And and plus the one you're gonna get there is not is not in the grade minus. I guarantee you. Uh, we got sixty one. We got ninety nine. These are raw copies. It's all over the freaking place. It is all over the place. 80, 87, 66. Uh, but this, but this is these are all prices over the last couple weeks. You know, these are prices that like we all know that the market's down a hair. So if we go back, you know, in the way back machine, it's up there. What it's up there. Don't go back too far. It'll only be like seventy five <laughs> cents. Or what? what what's, co <laughs> what's cover price? Dollar twenty five. Dollar. Dollar. <laughs> Well, what did well your, what did at one point for? it was probably in a in a fifty cent bin. Zarabinsky, what did yours sell for? I've never sold one because I'm not stupid enough to let mine go. I know it is a stupid time to let this go, but Daddy's got bills. Daddy got bills to pay. Daddy got bills to pay. I think it's a, the dumbest time to let this book go. I mean, Bishop, Bishop, we have we have zero reason to spec on Bishop, and. Uh, the book's already insane, or had you know had been insane, and so, and then like we have zero zero reason to spec on this book insane, but like say it hits, you know, do do more people know about Jubilee than they do Mephisto? Sure, Mephisto's a little older. Okay. Oh, Thomas fell for the trick. He's bidding sixty five. No, no, he, he I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> they fall for it every time. Hey, what'd you pay on that amazing fantasy? Oh, like ten thousand. <laughs> He's in a ten thousand dollars. There's no retracting bids here. Oh, I guess I'm buying nope. now. Dinguses. So, uh, how many people we got watching, man? 
29. Listen, 29 people. We need 11 more people live watching so I can give that giveaway to you guys. Anyway, these are buy it now. $50 buy it now. Uh, I have to stay firm on the price because that's what I've been charging people. $50. Buy it now. Sketch covers. I draw what you want on these covers. We got Avengers 1. Avengers Sanct Sanction 1. Savage Wolverine uh, 6. Crossover 4. I, I, I like to do maybe... What would I do on this crossover? Something fun. Hulk. I was excited about this one. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, it's cool. I, I think I can do something real special. Which crossover number is that? Was that one? Four, four, four. Four. Mm. I would just draw. I mean, I wouldn't draw anything. I think the last one I did. Uh, it's not mine, but it's like. Uh, it's a Mars Attacks cover on crossover. Um, time traveler wants to know how much if he sends you a sketch cover. It's gonna be the same price. Uh, it's gonna be the same price. That's I just don't charge for the book. I have them. Don't charge for the book. So it's it's a fifty dollars for. You send me the book. It's fifty dollars for the, for the sketch. But if I have the book, the book's just in in the deal. <clears throat> the book is in the deal, guys. But I like to draw bigger. I like to be like 11 by 17. It is a little bit more money, but it gives me room to work. It gives me room to go all out and draw bigger things. So like an 11 by 17 is 100 with like one character and like some stuff. Like full page 11 by 17 is 120 plus shipping. So for, so for Missy, I'd like to draw you a nice scroll page. Uh, would I like to do full on scroll page? Yes, I would like to do that. But you got stuff to pay for, man. You're, you're, Promiscuous is uh, doing his own comic. I'm trying to fund that comic book. Alright, guys. Uh, what is this? I want to encourage you to bid. Not take your, take your shirt off. You know, you take my shirt off. Oh, wow. Listen, you you guys can't handle it. I got sexy comic book tattoos all over my all over my hairless body. <laughs> He's what you call a Mexican hairless. I'm one of those Mexican hairless. Shirt off equals bid. I got all kinds of sexy tattoos. And little hair covering the Mexican hair list. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you go after? Yeah, oh yeah, man. The Mexicans go to the bar and they hit on you, and you're like, "Are you a hairless?" Yep. <laughs> they're like, "No, no." I'm like, and you're like hit the road, <laughs> hit the road, Jose." <laughs> mm -hmm. I like my Mexicans hairless. <laughs> Do you? Oh, yeah. uh, not even on their head. I will it's say, you probably hairless. are not going to find a cleaner copy on eBay if you're looking for the book. I can guarantee the cleanliness and the the mintiness of this particular book is better than a book you will find and look, look closely at on eBay. His book is better than yours. Damn right. My book is better, book better, is than, better than yours. All right, we're exactly right, so, in line. Oh, this is your last and final chance to bid. Okay, you got to go at, 30. We're at 35. Go 36 or higher. This go comes in at 36. Put it back up, Tricky. It's up. I'm just. I might throw in some. I might throw in some stuff. All right. So Damn. 36. At 46, I'll throw in these kissy covers. Uh. Because we know you guys like kissy covers. Look at this. Wolverine's just savage, man. I got some kissy covers. Uh, just 10 more dollars. If you guys want them. Kissy covers. You guys, uh, lay this on, lay this, lay this down on the coffee table. Spread them out. 
bring your date home and, and say, oh, I was just studying these books. Panty dropper. We'll definitely get laid. Panty dropper. The panties will be dropped before oh, yeah. you even get the sentence out. Mm -hmm. Disco, more bucks. Disco, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. You can't afford there it. it. <laughs> so it will be t these three. These three will just be an extra an extra ten if you guys. So so forty five, an extra nine dollars. We'll get these nice kissy covers in. And Disco, we know we know you need some kissy kissy in your life because. <laughs> Kissy, 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 kissy. Promiscuous? Hey, I put him. Promiscuous? I, you can come in, man. You can come in and get these kissy covers. And you'll have a nice resellable Jubilee. And you'll make well your money back. And then some. Uh, when she's optioned or when she's in a movie or whatever. Promiscuous is a pervert, man. Yeah, but he's the right kind of pervert. Our kind of pervert. He's the kind of pervert you let into your back door. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I got my mom's house. Your mom's back door. So wow, bro! Nice Why'd you gotta go there? We've, we've oh, all been there. Nine more dollars. <laughs> we've all been there. Nine more yeah. dollars gets these X kissy covers in. And look at this cover right here. Is a uh, this is an Ian Churchill cover? So so the details are there. Look at this. This is the it, dirtiest shit I've ever seen. Hey, Disco, we'll take donations. <laughs> Do you see this? Do you see this shit right here? I see it. It's not all I'm this? doing. Wolverine's Seeing like, not all I'm doing. like, Black Panther, my ass. Here's some tongue for you. How's the weather in here, Storm? Let me give you my lightning rod. Uh, I actually, this is a Jim Starlin, this is a Jim Starlin book. This this book, I have I have a copy of this book, and I got another copy to put in my kissy cover lot because I want to read this because the art inside is really badass. Uh, but I've been wanting to read this special, so I did not put up my PC copy, uh, which is probably not as nice as this one. But I bought another one to go with my kissy cover lot, and I still haven't didn't even get all my kissy covers together. Kiss I have like lovely. I looked, but couldn't find them. So. He's in. He wants me to kiss. Promiscuous. He can't. He can't help himself. Or Thomas. He can't help himself. They both look at him. They both can't help themselves because they see this Jean Grey cover and they're like, "I can't believe this." I gotta say that one's pretty hot. It's it's pretty intense. But come on, this is this is Thomas Zarabinsky on his girlfriend. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He's got muscles that don't even exist in this arm. Whoa, Wolverine or Thomas the Darabinsky. That's not the point. The point is Both of them. she's her oh, arm. Shit. He even cut he even cut her arm by accident. She's into it. She's like, cut me, daddy. She, she's a cutter. Cut me, daddy. Cut me, daddy. That sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, this one's this one's nuts. This one's nuts. I want to make out with him just because of that cover. You know, YouTube should be pulling this video down any minute. Now, <laughs> you. Hey, so what? Why did Metis auction in at three hours? Uh, two days ago, yesterday, yesterday. Because, um, like me, my camera was fucked up, dude. I my internet was all messed up, so yeah, I had so to shut it down out. because of you. Well, no, because. There was only two people auctioning. And oh, they, how many? You know, two. That's weird. Well, yeah, just just a whole bunch of stuff, dude. Okay, it was, so it was, it was too like much a... for two people, and you know, one of them, one of them doesn't have enough inventory to, to do that kind of. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, there was only two people on the panel. Yeah, because I had to bail. And, uh, I got you. Walk me through this again. The books, please. Yeah. Okay. So you get the you get the books. Is it done? You have a date night. You Got lay them on the coffee table. You know, probably probably this one first, and then you know, depending on what, depending maybe she's maybe she's a woman of color, then you're going to go with this one. 
Uh, and the, or maybe she's into some freaky shit. Maybe you want to go with this one. You lay that one up top, right? And then uh, you sit her on the couch and say, oh, I've just been studying these books here. Panties dropped. Panties dropped. All hot. Panties dropped. That's it. Panties are gone. They, they, they flew out the window. All right. Did we get then, a if you wanted, then if you wanted her to invite one of her friends over, you show her that second cover. Well, you, you know, you just you just bring out the Jubilee. I mean, you bust out the no, ICP comics. Bring out the Jubilee. Be like, listen, <laughs> I got a gun. Where's your friends at? <laughs> <laughs> listen, I got a gun. You got friends? Shh. Let's not turn this rape All right. into a murder. Disco, Disco I want to encourage you to uh, bid on these, my friend. So we got. Thomas in did unless he folded maybe maybe he folded already. No, this goes still in it. This goes in it to win it. What you gonna do, fool? Come take these books, man. Unless you guys want to go up, I have some other. I have some really nice storm covers next to me. Or if you want to go down. If you want it to go down, you'll get these. If you want to go up. If you, if you want to go down, you gotta come over. If you want to go up, you gotta bid right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I'll just show these for some... I'll show these for coming up. Have you seen this thing? What, is she she's missing her arm? Captain Marvel. Captain... She's got this Miss Marvel suit on. We got... We got some storm coming up. Look. Extreme X-Men exposed. Just so Look filthy. at that ass. Yeah, exactly. It's up in the air. Just like it will be if you pick up this... What? Anyway, that was what was coming up. All right, so what's it going to be, Disco? You coming in, man? Oh, Disco's he, in he, at forty-seven. He, he can't. He can't help it. He's. He knows what he wants. This man. He knows what he's want. He knows he he's got to try this out. Also record it, Disco, so we can watch. Uh, not the not the after part, just just the pickup line with the books. <laughs> you still need to buy a coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> well, just lay lay him on the lay him lay him in the bathroom or on the bed and lay him on the floor right when you walk in. It doesn't matter. As long as she sees, as long as she sees what your what's on your mind. Right, right. Yeah, like she sees this prisoner of love. Done. That's Tricky, I'm never, for. I'm never having you on again. That's what, <laughs> that's what she's been looking for her whole life. And look, Jim Starlin wrote it, so you know it's gold. Cool. You know it's quality. <laughs> I'm never having you on again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now we're, now we're big. Now it's an auction. <laughs> All right, guys. So do you want me to throw these storms in or what? Here's the one with the this the one with the ass in the air. Well, that's what the top of the bull is for. You're supposed to face the bull, and that way you it's have like, nice. like a little tray you can read your comics on it. Tricky's right. trying I'll to just... I'll, I'll do my my huge um, free lot. Oh God, that 60, was... 65, <laughs> 65, So fifteen more dollars will get these storm books in if you want. I mean, this cover alone is just. But half her so arms just... missing, dude. It's just behind her, man. It's it's like she's got a cape back there. Anyway, I love this cover. We got Storm One, Foil. Storm Two. Oh no, this is Three Foil. We have Storm Two, Foil. Did Extreme you say X Soil? Yeah, Soiled. We got this exposed cover. I don't even know what's in this book. What's it's exposed? Probably more, mm. It's probably more butt. And then we got this nice Jim Lee cover. Wait, Sylvester? Sylvester. Sylvester. Which is one of my favorite Storm covers. For obvious reasons. Uh, it's not the milk on her face either. It's this outfit. It looks good. Look, she's got milk on her face. What is What does this look like to you, you pervs? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was uh, Sylvester being like, "Fuck you, Marvel, I quit." You know, Sylvester is just like thinking about what he wants to do to Storm. What's going on? 
it's all over. So anyway, I think it's Wills. Let me is it Wills? It might be Wills. Yeah, it's Wills. Wills. It is Wills. Nice. There you look go. At, look at this. It's all over. I could just movies. read it. Yeah, it I is. I could have just read it. But Wills, yeah, sure. Wills. Hubert Wills. took over after that. Wills. Hey, hey, just for your protection, keep it inside the the uh, the bag and board. It's Wills to Milky Ho. That is a moist a, comment. If you put a black light on that, <laughs> you'll see a lot of Wills, Wills, uh, Wills juice. 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 Uh, so yeah, fifteen more dollars if you guys want these in the lot. Okay, so sixty-five will get these storms in. Um, I mean, I don't know. I think they're great. I think they're pretty great. He's gonna beat my time. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, you can. Uh, don't throw them in tricky. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm not Rep throwing 50. them in. I'm not throwing them you in. want to bid, bid now, please? Bid no, 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 I'm not throwing them in. I'm not throwing them in. Unless you bid sixty-five. Unless you bid sixty-five. <laughs> Unless you bid sixty-five, they'll come in. But if you haven't folded and you would like to get into this. You got to bid 51 or higher. We're waiting on you guys to move this along. Sooner than later. We got other people waiting to sell. We got other people waiting on books. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Thomas? Thomas? <laughs> She's cute. When I seen this cover, I said this. <sighs> I think I think it's just hotter because she's in like a Miss Marvel outfit. Like, yeah, it was really cute. It. That's what's doing it for me. Yeah, that's what's doing it for me too. All right, fifty. If you want to go up, my friend, uh, we can. But these will go to Disco Day for fifty bucks. Promiscuous, just knock it back to sixty-five and get in. Save yourself some money. Do it, do it, do it. Last chance. I'm gonna type the in line like right now. This is the final countdown. Going once. That's a good lot. That's a good price. That's a good price for all those books. You can get That's back in price. if it's new books. That's a great price for all those. And you can get back in if you want to come to 65 for sure. Yeah. Anytime there's new books on the table. Yeah. Anytime you add books, you can come back in. But yeah. let me know, whoever, whoever, if you want to come in at 65. Uh, well, Dave? hopefully whoever wanted in. Hopefully he's they did. He's fighting his weird urges. He, he's gonna, inline's he's dropping. Here comes the inline. It is down. Now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you, man. What are you doing over there, Diamond Head? <clears throat> I think it's time to introduce our little latecomer. Hey, guy. Not even there is. Dun dun dun. Dun. Um, lady. Yeah. I. It's my turn or your turn. You can go. Are you ready? I can. Yeah. Go for so, it. So, um, I have a buy it now. I can now. Ooh. Interested. But it is the a Marvel Treasury edition of Captain America's Bicentennial Battles. In very, very, very nice shape. Kirby. Kirby goodness. This is a bin for 50. Um, bin 50. Um, and if, you want awesome. to, if you want me to take it out, I can. Uh, if it doesn't one. sell, if it doesn't sell, Cosmic Jimbo might want it. Just let him in. Okay. So there's that. And then um, I have this Spider Man lot, and I'm going to start off its five books. Starting it off at ten bucks. Um, that's two book, uh, two bucks a book. Um, so we have Adi Granov, um, Spider Man six hundred two here. She's got legs. Yeah. She knows how to use them. She's got legs. Spider um, Gwen nineteen. Uh, what? what? She got a sword for. I don't know. Uh, we've got, that's just my baby daddy. Baby got, um, 
Spider Woman Baby Bump. Spider Woman number one. A uh, hip hop variant. And we've got the uh, Heroes Reborn Night Gwen number one. Ooh. Final book. This is a Walmart version of Black Widow number one. Can I see the cover of that, the, the Nighthawk again? This one? Yeah, I want to look at it with my eyeballs. Who the hell's that? That's when? Night Gwen. Like That's Quinn? basically the new Batgirl. <laughs> is there is there no is there nowhere they won't do they won't? There's go. no nowhere they won't go. They've done fucking too much, dude. This squadron, hold on, it's a really funny one. Squadron Gwinister. That's what. Oh, I did see that. One. I have that one. Yeah. That's, That's one. Cute. It's the squadron. That was super cute, though. That one, I have I that one. I like that one. I do need the book. I do need the book. I just, uh, uh, you know. I have um. What's the price on these? Buck a book? Ten, ten bucks? Yeah, ten bucks. And Mr. Zerabinski is in. Perfect. Um, fuck. The Groot, they did Groot one, and it was Groot. Uh, Dr. Gwynge. Uh, Gwynpool. Oh. Howard the... Gw I don't fucking know. Howard the well, when I first seen that Gwyn cover, or the you know the squadron cover, I was like, I'll kill him. I'll just kill him all. But then I, I didn't. I realized that it was just a, you know, just a variant. Yeah, it's just a variant. Don't do that. Don't be so mean. Like, here, let me grab it real quick. I want to show the. I want to show them what you guys are talking about. Hold on. Do grab it. Grab it by the nuts. Oh, okay. uh, I think it's old man Logwin. Twist his dick. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> twist his dick. <laughs> old man Logwin. Oh, that's funny. Dick twist. When, okay. Um, yeah, hold on just a second. Sorry, sorry. Put it in my box. Gwyn Vereen. Hey, do I have a do I have a box with you? Yeah, you do. You filthy. I'm a, fil a filthy whore. Okay. <laughs> I'm a filthy, <laughs> filthy whore. That's the one. This is. Just put it in my box. I love it. Okay, it. A okay it to me. Okay, I'll a okay it to you. Do you want it? Yeah, definitely. I'll give it to I, you. I, I'll uh, give it to you. You little Aww. bitch. Ah. <laughs> She's going to give it to you. You got called a bitch. Gwen anyway, wishes she was Hyperion. I also have the Thor, the Thor Gwen, or whatever. I'm a lot of fun. Okay, just say A-OK -okay, -okay them all to me. That's fine. No, it's not. that's not how it works. I'll give you the that one because I know you have um, a thing with a squadron. A stiffy? A stiffy for the squadron? Yeah, a bit of a chub. It's uh, it's just an extra chub when you're talking about the squad. She's glued. I have Gwyn. um, Gwyn yeah, Gwyn. the Thor one, and I think there's another Gwen one that I have. Gwen, Gwen penis. Gwen penis. I don't have that one. Uh, Gwen, Gwen Actus. I don't have that one either. <laughs> no, I just made that up. I, just... I know. Galactus. Anybody interested in something like this? What about the Guacher? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we like that. Oh, Guacher. <laughs> Master of Twin What does a Thor one look like? Like a lady Thor, basically. She looks like Jane. Um, I like this is dope. I mean, I like Night. I like Night, of course. But... T Pain wants 15. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know a fun a cool one that I found. <laughs> oh, also, if you guys if anyone's interested when I'm anyone is interested. Gwintalica. Mega Gwen. A mid grade copy. You know that. Ooh, first appearance of Taskmaster. 195 first appearance of Taskmaster. What gets that in? So, this is mid grade. Somebody wants to bin it, you can bin 20. Oh, yeah. Ah. Ah. I hate you. You should have said it like comes in at 20 more. Oh, okay. no, it comes, in, it comes it in at 31. That's how it works. It comes in at 31. Mm -hmm. I'm dropping it's a great, one for myself, but too late. It's a Apex, great book. It's a great book. Apex got it. And if somebody's 
looking for. I also have just there's a couple of things that I have that are a little harder to find. That was one of them. And another one is uh, the bin. Okay. Well, Apex should specify if he wants to do the buy it now or if he's bidding twenty. Yeah. Are you? What are you bidding, Apex? You need to after let me know. That, after that, it goes to Shutter. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Shutter? Where you been? Gwyneth Bowie. So, Apex, what was your was your bid twenty since we had somebody at fifteen? Yeah. Or was your twenty in reference to the buy it now? Avengers 195. Presumably to buy it now. But let's let Apex specify. And then um, we have about 30 seconds left on yeah. the auction. So we're at 15 on that or, or 20. I don't know. McGinnis Art is a saving grace if he raised before. Okay, like so Apex, okay, Apex gets that then. Um, we're still at 15 on the auction here. I got, okay. the, uh, I got my Heroes Reborn issue ones in today, which I got the McGinnis and I got the George Perez. Yes, I got like I have like two of them for you in your box with yes. me. So don't yes, over yes. And say don't get doubled. Well, I just wanted these. I wanted these covers. I wanted the Perez cover and the McGinnis cover to issue one. But I wanted. Hey, the I just entered my IG info. Um, what wow, wow, wow. I don't know what I'm doing here with my life. over the place. Here we go. I haven't read Heroes Reborn yet. But um, I also I have this thing. Um, these are really hard to find. Miss Marvel, number five. Yeah, the non-lenticular. Second print. Well, this is a second print. Um, first appearance of her um, outfit. This is a Ben 25. Go look up the prices, and uh, if anybody's interested, let me know. T Pain, we've got you at fifteen, and then yep. Apex, I've got you. Cool. Okay. Correct. That's nice. Sorry. All good. Good. Good pick up T Pain for fifteen. Good job. And it was twenty five for that Ms. Marvel. So if anybody still wants to claim that, even though the inline's down, you can still do the bin on that. Just let us know. Type it in the comments, and we will stop and make sure that that gets taken care of. So good job. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Oh, are you with us now? Oh, have you not you know, disappear? You're not going to be all muted and quiet and ignore us? So yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a late bloomer here. It's all good. I'm you kind of a busy night. Like all right. Shirt. Cool shirt, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah. Golly. All right. Uh, what I have is a little lot here of uh, uh, Alien versus Predator books and some Predator and I believe... It's like a mix of Alien and Predator books. All right. Yeah. Eight books, I believe. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Eight books. So get a Dark Horse Classics, Alien vs. Predator 1, 2. Really shiny. All the glare. Uh, Aliens, Predator, Deadliest of the Species. Alien Insurrection 2. Alien Predator War. This one has a little tear down here at the bottom. And Predator Primal 2. Alien vs. Predator Duel 2. And lastly, Predator Kindred three uh i'm gonna start this at let's just say 15. Let's see what happens awesome there's a starting line down 15 dollars start guys nice little lot of predators and some aliens That one I've never seen before in my life. Since Resurrection, the worst movie. <laughs> it is. God. Actually, I don't know. I, I think three. Three? I don't like three either. So, I, yeah. Depends yeah. on what day. I'd probably take four over three. 
I, I like elements of three, but yeah. as a whole, it's it's a uh, it's not very good. And then the first AVP isn't much better, but I it's still more watchable. Yeah, the second one though, <laughs> fucking fantastic. At least it's fun. Yeah, but Requiem is oh my god, super good. Oh, it's a blast. That's like as good as Predators. I really liked Predators a lot. Predators. Plural, yeah. The Adrian Brody one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even the new one isn't that bad. The Predator. I, yeah, I Predator. The... They're all decent. No, three sucked, K pop. Sucked. <laughs> Watch the director's cut. It's it's even worse. Is it worse? I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's like super long. I don't know. I might. I haven't seen it in years. I'll probably love it when I rewatch it. But from my, as a kid, I did not like. It was boring. It wasn't very. Yeah. Um, I, I just watched it like six months ago. It wasn't. It did I not. Love love fair it. cover. I like fair covers. Shit. Shit. What's up, bro? These are cool. What's up, Mister Barlin? I agree. It was a badass looking pair. Uh, I particularly yeah. really like these, these two. That's a good one. If you guys don't know, this is the genius who behind the uh, you, the whatnot uh, commercial, Cosmic Gojin book. Master Kung Fu, Master Kung Fu, Master Kung Fu. <laughs> He's the one who shot the video. I have really high grade, quote unquote, Master of Kung Fu books to sell. <laughs> But they're missing some pages. Yeah, any low grades with pages missing? <laughs> I'll take those. I, I actually do have low grades that don't have pages missing. But they're pretty low. Like Parker will, take, Parker will take them all for 10 books. I'm trying to build a whole run. I don't need anything that's like lower than 70. So I need the, the higher numbers. I'll see what I got. I'll let you know. Right on. Well, not seeing any takers here. You got about 10 seconds. Cover any lag, I'm gonna put the inline down, folks. Folksies. <laughs> nice dark course. Here you go. Oh, the predator. Tricky. Does this uh, not remind you of uh, Chris Burnham a little bit? Yeah, yeah, Just a little yeah, bit. A little bit. Not little quite, bit. but almost. Yeah, I see it. I see oh. it. <laughs> All right, well, there's an inline. No takers on there. Hey, what, what, what movie were you talking about? What, what three? Alien. What Alien 3. Alien, Alien 3? Yeah. yeah. That's the worst. It's not the worst, <laughs> but it's not great. It's like, it's like a 5, a 10. I actually, I'm, I'm, Alien 1 and Alien Resurrection are my favorites. Wow. Four of the worst. Resurrection is garbage. No, it's not. Wrong the, end of it's gar- fun. the end of it's garbage. The end of it's garbage. Oh, Isn't one known in that? Not yeah, good. that's that's great. Yeah, that's the, that's the only redeeming quality is one. <laughs> so you get aliens and reptilians <laughs> <laughs> and Hellboys. <laughs> oh, too. All right, cool. Well, thanks, man. We'll see you All in, right. uh, in Thank round. You. See you on another time. My throat was kind of weird. Okay. I'm going to do a... What is her name? Emma Frost. This is the Ice Queen. The Snow Queen. 32. We're... We're tiptoeing around the giveaway point. We're at 36 or 37 again. A few, a few people ago. And it's just not quite getting there. Are you not it's, entertained? Yeah, we need 40 live viewers for me to do my giveaway. And Parker Which will then in chain book. reaction, you get two more giveaways. Yeah. Genius. So go grab a friend. Everybody, there's 32 people here. Everyone go grab one friend, bring them into the show so we can get these giveaways uh, confirmed. Yep. And I only had six people do the uh, the sharing thing and then like DM me that they did that. So 
you got if we hit 40 that's a separate giveaway that just six people are in on but if you as well i'll uh maybe there's new people watching i'll say the same thing you can still get in on this one if any of you just go to that share button like right there and share this stream with a friend at least like two people and then like uh, take a screenshot of it or post it to your stories or your what any social media or your feed whatever um and then just dm that to me send tag me in it or show me that you did that and i'll add you into this little extra giveaway so yeah anywho half my round's over i don't care five dollars is going to be the start on this one it's the emma frost women's history variant she was That's established nice. in 1980. she was crushing oh, in 1980. so stuff is at five bucks it's, a, it's kind of a builder lot. Stereo radio tonight. Need to, need, to, need to talk some smack. Oh, it could be, man. It all depends. If we get this, uh, if we get this book given away, I'll draw the sketch cover live. Um. Next book I got to come in is the. <laughs> Um, Astonishing X Men Twenty One, the David nice. Cassidy's variant. This is sick. That book. Also near mint. It's all the blue. So, are, yeah. The colors are popping. Not a oh, tick on nice. there. Nice so, variant. Yeah, slab worthy candidate. Gorgeous book. Yeah, variant cover. And that was back when they weren't doing variants for every single book, and like five or six of them. Um, what are we at? We're still just at five. This can come in at like 12? Was that back before exclusives? Oh, well before exclusives. I mean, they've always had like wizard <laughs> mail-in exclusives or like right. order, um, yeah. Autograph exclusives and stuff. And stuff. Um, yeah, this could come in at 12. Pains in a 12 perfect arm. So now we got two Emma Frost in here, 12 bucks. Next one I got is the Carnageized one. This comes in at 30. near man it comes in at 30 and then at 75 let's just do 70 i'll bring this in that's that would be all books all books in at 70. this is the jim lee like trading card variant this one goes for a pretty penny and i can see why i mean uh, jim lee oh, yeah. so this would come in at 70. that's the final book so it's just like forty dollars more on that. I have it as a fifty dollar buy it now. Um, look, T Pain's in at thirty, so you got this one in. Oh, he's in for all. All right, cool. So all Emma Frost are in. Is that her name? Emma Frost. Yeah. The Ice Queen, Snow Queen. Damn. White Queen. Over on about thirty second timer here. Forty five seconds. And otherwise, it's going to T-Pain for 70. Anybody can still get in. All of these books are near mint, near mint plus. Whoa. Yeah, the Jim Lee cover, man. It's insane. That is real good, yeah. I was kind of shocked when I looked up what it was. I was like, whoa. I think that, this that's, one. That's a hanger right there. And these are, yeah, and these, all oh, they did like four of these um, for Astonishing X Men like 20 through 24. And they're worth less than I assumed they would be. But they're really cool. There's a Wolverine one and a Beast one. This is fucking cool, too. Yeah. All right. I'm going to drop the in line. I figured out the timer. Thank you, T Pain. Nobody beats me to it. Good, 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 great. Good, 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 great. 
Endline. Endline would be the right word. Endline. Is she also called like the Ice Queen, the Snow Queen? I know she's the White Queen at some point. Yeah, is it White just Emma Frost? Is, like, is Emma Frost yeah, her? Emma Frost, her name, White Queen, is her is her oh. alias for moniker. Got it. For uh, I think it's like the, Narnia is like the Ice Queen. And it's there's, a, there's other Snow for, Queen, Ice Queen. I get them. Okay. It's Elsa, bro. If her name's Elsa. It's Elsa. There you go. There's a Snow Queen. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, inlines down. I think Cat sixty should be next. You know, it makes me kind of laugh because Tricky keeps putting these lots up, saying that these books are gonna get the women to drop their panties. He ain't got nothing on this lot. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> oh, everybody. Yeah. I'm already naked. <laughs> See. Oh, shit. I'm naked too. See, people. Just... People have seen this book on auction oh, many boy. times. This isn't really what makes the panties drop, okay? Because sure we got this book, but not only that, we have two. Oh man, my shoes three, are off. Four, shoes are off. Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, and nine. I'm about to take my hat off too. <laughs> I'm going to start this at four hundred dollars, <laughs> but 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 wait. There's a there's a catch. I'm gonna give you three ninety nine off only right now. Man. <laughs> Damn. That's a huge discount. No one, is, no one is wearing pants now. <laughs> I've never had my jeans melt off my legs. <laughs> oh shit. I am. Mean, out of order. So this should go here. Can you show that one a little closer? Is he in the mouth of that character, that creature? No, he's yeah. getting down. Okay. Yeah, he's in the mouth. No, he's not. He's under the mouth. Really? He's not in there. He's under. Oh there. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just being uh held down but if and, yeah even literally if he would have been having his his mouth on his arm i would probably have to buy it just out of like completionism obsessiveness let's get back to this oh there you go mr reorganize he's getting dirty taking his jewelry <laughs> he's, he's even taking his watch and ring off everybody's naked now i know just the power of these books gets everybody naked i'm wet <laughs> I'm so moist. <laughs> Come on, man. It's Turok. It's not just one, too. People Lots put up number one all the time. I see it. And and then all the women are naked. But, dude, you put up this lot, everybody's naked. Carry these wherever you go. People just be dropping their clothes all over the place. <laughs> That one, that one is sexy, sexy, sexy. All right. Disco Day is going to go in for five bucks because he needs to see naked people. We will have to talk to sir, because your box is getting pretty full. have to get a bigger coffee table <laughs> you don't need a coffee table dude just owning these alone will do it and it doesn't matter where you go just it happens i know i have to get rid of them man i've seen too many naked people <laughs> oh. Can't 
believe I'm selling a Torox set. You know, watch this one day. This book just blows up. Because there's like somebody's hoarding like 200,000 of them and their store burns down. Comic Tom. I hope so. Comic Tom. <laughs> He's admitted to having long boxes full of that book. But I mean, that's just what happens when you own a you owned a comic book store before. You do accumulate a box full of books. It's not rare. I mean, that is a common thing to happen. Yeah, because you buy on spec and nobody buys them. And yeah, I mean, you just you buy collections. You buy collections from people, and each collection has stacks of those, so it just adds up. Technically, if you did that, which you know, I've, I've bought collections and they've had plenty of that book. And then you like you get rid of them. Technically, the rest of them are a little more valuable. Like, what if you own the last ten copies of Turok that are on the market? I mean, yeah, when one guy on has the even, planet on the has a hundred of them. It wow. it does lower the like ratio of how many exist. I mean, it does change the percentage, but it doesn't make it a common book or not rare. Yeah, but you, know, you would never a, know. It's such a popular game, like that you would think there would be a movie already, like because they made a movie of every other game from like, you know, the '90s to early 2000s. So like, why not a Turok movie yet? Why not? Um, yeah, it was like a Native American lead. We need that. The movies need that. like Scorpion King, but they're not going to do a Turok. Right. Come on. Yeah, watch. We we say this, and The Rock is going to get cast as fucking Turok. As Turok, that'd be badass. I, mean, I would watch that. Big. I would. I would watch the balls out of that movie. I'd much rather like right, Danny so Trio be Turok. But. Disco, you own yourself one of the greatest collections that has ever passed through any of these auctions. It's the pedigree. You own. You own Turok. It's the pedigree collection. All right, in line is down. He still got that at three hundred and ninety-five dollars off. So. Wow. Pretty good yep. That's That's a deal. deal. Pretty good deal. Yep. You get you can tell everybody what a deal you got. <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's mind that cover. Sure. That's a classic dino cover right there. Like that. That's a good one right there. Dude, uh, there's nothing wrong with these books. I don't. I, I know that one. I know that one was overprinted. But what about the rest of them? Two, three, four, and five weren't. No, the final okay. issue is hard to find. What's What's the final issue? I don't I have no idea, but I've heard that people it's like it's hard for them to complete their Turok runs because the final couple issues like are not not scarce but low print, lower. I might, have, I might have some of those. I don't know how long it went. It went too long. Huh? All right, guys, thank you. Not long enough. Well, right. jump. I have a cooler lot than that, but uh, get out of here. X of Swords one stasis. This is X of Swords stasis issue one. It's a nice version variant of the X-23 cover, uh, where she's obviously either possessed or just really upset. It's a virgin of a virgin. That's double rare. I have Heroes Reborn Remnants. Uh, this book has this character, which is, her name is Miss Thing. Miss Thing, she killed Wolverine in a universe somewhere and wears his bones. So she actually wears his, like arm bone across her arm she wears her, her his like rib his ribs that's, across her ribs not morbid as hell <laughs> uh but she wears his adamantium skeleton skeleton over her body miss thing okay remnants issue one first appearance of miss thing of all new wolverine issue one mm. nice book i have wild thing the daughter of wolverine issue one all right, so I'm going to start this off at 30. Pretty cool lot. Pretty cool lot. They're all in high grade. Nothing's crazy here as far as the grade goes. Bucket heads wearing... here. <laughs> so we have Miss Thing issue one. That is so, the okay. daughter of Wolverine. Well before there was X-23, there was Wild Thing. Okay. And it's party time. And she made my heart sing. This is a Ron Lim cover. Ron Lim. They're on everything. We have this stasis Green cover. Issue, this is issue one variant. I was building X twenty three a lot, and I was wanting, I was wanting to do a sketch cover, but 
you know, I never got to it. We got the first appearance of Miss Thing, which is the killer of a Wolverine. Where's his bones? And where's his where's his claws? And this is the Ethan Van Skyver cover. Can you believe that? Mmm, Skyver Prof. Weird. We got only Wolverine issue one. That's a twenty dollars nice book. It's a nice book. It's a nice book. Sure is. Uh, I've seen it go for twenty. I've seen it go for thirty. How old do you think I am? Oh. She's is only like nineteen. Well, I heard he was like the same age as uh, Jay McCray. She's is a uh, gold star lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens when you no, learn these things. He's definitely not a gold star lesbian. All right, you guys new things and we abuse that. that Are you that guys knowledge. passing on this lot? I need two passes so I can move on to the next lot. Give me two passes. Two passes and I'll move on. Dude, why are you gonna? Why is somebody gonna pass on that new Wolverine? I have no clue why they're gonna pass on this lot. It's a sick lot, that but I can Wolverine. keep building it. I, I bid, keep building it over time. I bid twenty five. No, no, it's a, it's a thirty dollars starting bid. Well, if somebody outbids me up to thirty, uh, we'll get this thing started. But if you that's guys a, pass, that's a great book right there. We got one pass. It is a fantastic book. But if we get one more pass, I'll move on to this nice Doom lot I got right next to me. I don't work it out as well. Thirty. If Sarah I didn't, if in I didn't just spend about three grand this weekend, I would have freaking bought it. All right. Sarah Bensky's in at 30. Pass. They're all extremely, extremely high grade books. Oh. Sarah Bensky's in. He's getting only Wolverine issue one. It goes for 20 to 30, depending on where you, you know, if you look at sold prices, you'll see, you'll see both prices. We got Wild Thing, issue one. But, you know, the reason why I like building these lots is there are lots, one, cause, that I would collect. You know, I think they're cool. Like, if I was going to be an X-23 collector, these all these books would be in my All these books would be in my PC. Because, uh, you know, what's better than the daughter of Wolverine before the daughter of Wolverine was ever created? I don't know. Nothing. So... That's what's fun about building stuff like this. And then someone can say, hey, now I have, I can add these X-23 books to my X-23 collection and have a really be a um, She-Wolverine collection. Does anyone want to come in and challenge old Thomas Zarabinsky? Thomas Theodore Zarabinsky. What do you guys suspect his name is? Thomas Bartholomew Zarabinsky. Eugene. Clarence. Like the cartoon. Do you guys watch yeah. Clarence? Anyone? Weathersby. I like Clarence. 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 I don't know what Clarence is. Oh, I know that you're smart, but you will really think that's funny. Franklin. Uh, Thomas. Nathan. Thomas Kelly. Ooh, I like that. I need that one. Put me up. You, you do need this. That's the only copy I have, so you better come in on this. Well, time. you're a big asshole then. <laughs> I'm a really tight, small asshole. Thank you. Yeah? Well, wait till I get done with you. It ain't that tight. Well, while you're up there, can you correct my hemorrhoids? Sure. Thanks. I'm just not very big. Your penis, right? Correct. All right. So I guess, uh, I guess we're dropping in line. No one's in on this. Yeah, so twenty we're... seconds left. So I don't what think anybody's see? feeling these. They're not feeling the skeleton wearing Wolverine. The skeleton they're skin suit. They're not feeling this thing. The the she kills a Wolverine and wears his wears his bones on her own. Wild body. thing. Why do you keep calling her Miss Thing? It's wild. This, is, for this character, 
is named her name is Miss Thing. Oh, she's Miss Thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is wild. That's thing. wild. Thing right there. Different characters. Absolutely. Fix the speed bumps. Yeah, fix the speed bumps while we're up there, uh, lady. All right. That's a hell of a pickup. Sweet, sweet books, man. It took me a whole month to build that lot, probably. Just picking up books along the way. And that's the glory of it. Thirty bucks. Richard Joseph. What an asshole. He has four names. Just Richard hogging all the names. For the record. Thomas Three. Richard Three. Joseph Zarabinsky. Zarabinsky is actually his middle name. It's something <laughs> also ridiculous is his last name. Three wasn't enough. He's like, nah, I need four. Thomas Three Richard like, Zarabinsky. Uh, Thomas, were you Catholic? His last name is, is actually Smith. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Smith Dick? Smith Dick? That's a weird second. last name. That's, that's, weird ad, that's really weird. Yeah, Thomas Richard Joseph Zarabinsky Smith the second. Smith Dick. Dick Smith. Dick Smith. Dick Smith. Dick, Dick, Dick Smith. Dick All right, Smith. I'm going to give you guys a chance to get a really cool book. It's not in great shape. So any Dick? That's Jungle a Dick. Action 22. It's got the appearance of a KKK guy and a Black Panther. T'Challa takes it to town. That's right. This, KKK is in, guy. this is in low grade. And there's like there's a tear in the back. It's complete, and like the tear, it's just like it, everything's complete. It's not missing, but the only thing that's missing is that right there in the bottom. Well, yeah. 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 So I'm starting this at a dollar, but okay. it's not just this I'm adding. So you got a little old school um, jungle action twenty two that you can you know this is going to be affordable. It's going to start it at a buck. But I'm also going to add the Hudlin Black Panther, number one. Ramita yeah. on the cover art. So If I worked for Marvel as a writer, I would totally relaunch Jungle Action. A jungle Action? I have the whole run with the Black Panther in it. I would love to write that book. So, $1, Bob. You have the chance to get this book for one dollar. Well, I'm in at a dollar, damn it. Oh, shit. I'm folding T paints in at five. And this. John Ramita. I got jungle she's, action, bro. She's into that jungle love. Yeah. This one's a 25. <clears throat> it's totally complete, but there's a tear on the back page, and you can see it is a knot. It's a little gray, but it's complete and. You know, it's, I've seen worse. And for a dollar, can you say no? No chance to get something like that. And then this well, is. I know if I seen that book for, if I seen that book sitting at the, at the flea market for, for 20, I'd pick it up. Hey, some people like are just not into, um, like Black Panther, sometimes he can be hit or miss. It's a nice newsstand looking copy. Well, and this like he uh, he fights off the clan, bro. Like how? Is oh it yeah. Good? Like. How is it not cool? Yeah. Like fighting off the that's a badass. Kick the clan's ass, bro. So what does he say? Struggle on you with Panther. All right, so T Pain's in at five. Um, how much time we got left? A minute. 
You got a minute and five seconds. So hey, that's a hell of a deal. Two and a half bucks for each. Uh, now it's up to three bucks for each. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's hard not to come in on that. I was just about to do it, but Parker did it for me. For you. Three dollar. I'm out. Thirty-three people, guys. We're just seven away. Ooh, nice. Alright. T Pain, you fold? Lock fold is between T Pain and I. He's in at seven. Well, I could go at least another buck. <laughs> Mr. Taz, what's crapping in? Warlock, how do you do? What's up, Taz? Two pain, fuck off, Parker. <laughs> yeah, Parker's a dick like that. Let me win these, and then I can just sell these to you, T Pain, because you buy all my other books. Oh shit! For a higher price. Yeah, exactly. That's what I do. I'm a savage. Yeah, you're pretty savage, bro. He is super savage. The savagest. All right. Be savage, not average. Yes. I would be more interested on who's on the value stamp. I want to I wanna find books. I want to find books, cut out the value stamp, and just collect the stamps. You wouldn't have been the first that did that. I'm not sure if this is one with an MVS or not. We don't know what that is, but we want a Marvel value stamp. MVS. Somebody type in and see if this is one that has the Marvel value stamp. We're trusting your judgment on... Well, I'm looking. Let me look. We trust your unknowing judgment. Great games. If you want to look up Jungle Action 22. No, oh, Great Games just wants you to look up and see. Oh, is he just us. fucking with me? But see, the thing is, is, this is actually from a time that would possibly have it. It doesn't have a value stamp, but look at this. You got some cool pictures. It's a Captain Marvel value stamp, he says. And like a, a an emaciated Shang-Chi. Other than that, no. Find us that Captain Marvel ice, dude. Maybe it's hiding in the corner. You gotta look closer. Shut up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I will. Bold, T Pain. Note includes. Marvel Value Stamp Series 1, number 9, Captain Marvel. Does it? Dun, dun, dun. But now he says, wait, what issue is that? Maybe he got it wrong. It's 22. It's 22. You're fucking with me. Are you fucking with me? We should probably just move on to the next person. No, nah, we got nowhere else to be. Oh, you're such a bitch. <laughs> He's a dick. He's a douche. He's a douche. Nugget. Here's the, um, he's like flipping the KKK dude. He's like, Get the fuck off your horse. Dumbass bitch. Sorry, I don't think that there is, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a Black Panther beating the shit out of a KKK guy. I, think that'd be I wish you would. There's not oh, enough of that. You know, you always got somebody punching Nazis. You don't have somebody beating the shit out of um a KKK dude, a oh, Grave yeah. Wizard or something. I'm doing it. There is a cover. So well, there's, there's gonna be another one. Yes, it is. Which I mentioned. The back cover. This is a poor. This is a poor grade. But I started it at a buck, and also it includes this and this. The back cover is not torn on, so this is the um, Hudlin run. Yeah. Yeah, great games. Um, 
So it's more of just an opportunity to get a really badass book. No, it's not perfect, but it's a great story and a cool time in history. Um, you know. I wonder if there were trolls back then saying like, oh man, this Black Panther kicking a KKK dude's ass is so SJW. And you would have been like, I would have been like, fuck you. Just like I am now. <laughs> All right, thank you. This is T-Pain's, right? Yeah, I forgot to put the inline down. There it is, sorry. We got it, we got it, we got it. I have that T-Pain, it's 51 through 53, and I have it. Oh, she got it. There you go, Disco. She got it, though. All right. This is a problem solver. Time for this clown ass. I mean, ass clown. I mean, hey, hey guys, hey. what's up? All right. I got, uh, what you got? I got seven issues here of mm -hmm. the naughty comic. We'll say with the ladies. We got a Lady Justice. Ooh. That. One through six, and then uh, just randomly eleven. All right, so um, I'm gonna start these out at we'll say ten dollars. Don't everybody go quiet at once. Ah! Diamond. Gaiman? Gaiman. Yeah. Yeah. Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman. It's Gaiman. It's a Dan Bree rewritten cover. They seem to get more extreme as they go on because it has little uh, notifications about uh, what's the contents of the books. This one says. Mature situations, mature language, and graphic violence. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. to get a refill on my poos. Can you buy now? On your poos? You're drinking yeah, poo? I'm, I'm about to drink some poo. Hey, you guys got anything? Uh, can we, you guys check out the back, the private chat? Uh, we'll check out oh. the back, all right. Shut your mouth. Sassafras. No. Let me check the DMs. I'll see. I'll check my own DMs and see. Slide, slide up in my DMs. I'm gonna slide up in your DMs, girl. Slide up in my DMs. <laughs> hey, girl. I'm gonna slide up in your DMs, baby. Oh, yeah. Listen, girl. He's gonna let me slide up. up on it. Let me slide up in your DMs. Oh, yeah. Uh, the answer is no. The answer is no. Mm. Do you want me to beat him up? No, I don't fight people. I'm a nice guy. You know I have Batgirl Purple Rain cover. Purple Rain, Purple Rain. I haven't even seen that cover. Oh, well, you're a loser, is why. So. Purple Rain, Purple Rain. What's everybody's uh, favorite Prince song? Little uh, Darling Nikki. Yeah, you know what's up. That's my favorite song, too. Purple Rain is the best song for the play. You see that lady? What? Darling Nikki. That's what's up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. 
All right. Well, all right. No, y'all can, can agree. It's the best song okay. he ever did. It is the best song he ever did, for sure. It's the best song ever. Easily. Michael, is that like a that's like a thirty second timer? I don't know. That was a marathon timer. <laughs> okay. Um. Shit, it's my turn, and I'm I'm prepared. Well, this is always my turn. turn. It's your turn. My turn. You can go if you're ready. Go. I'm eating. You yeah. Hurt my vagina. Do it, baby. So this is a uh, lock and key Sandman, Helen Gone number one. Helen Keller. With a COA from Six One Six Comics. I'm gonna start this off at thirty-five dollars. Limited to five hundred. You have the color. And you have the sketch. Are they doing a season two or whatever? No idea. What was your question? Bueller. I don't even know what book that is. Lock and key. Oh. What about it? Are they doing a season two? Shit, I don't know. Because season one was kick ass. Sandman DC Sandman or Lock and Key Sandman? Yeah, that's, that's, uh, it's kind of funny. So those books were like worth shit. And then they started announcing that they're making that series. And, um, they blew up like a bitch. <laughs> but the, the real funny thing is, is they'd already made part of that, that, that show or that series with Lucifer. Just saying. I heard my phone. Lucifer was a pretty good show. Yeah, I liked it. I still have to watch like the last season and a half. Last season and last disc of the season before that. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good, actually. Yeah. Did nothing for the books. <laughs> I like that uh, Tom Welling is in it. Fucking Clark Kent, Smallville. <laughs> fish police. I will never sell a fish police.
Got 25 seconds on the timer, guys, if you want to get in on these. Time is running out. It's almost two. <laughs> I heard my phone, man. I don't know where the fuck it is. I hate that. Alright, next lot is going to be my last lot, and I'm going to throw up a big gold age builder. Gold age, gold age builder. Gold age. Alright. I suppose it's up to me to change the screen, isn't it? I guess. Ay, ay, ay. I guess, you freaking bum. So I skipped myself in that round somewhere, so I'm just shoving myself okay. back in. Sounds um, Maybe I didn't. I think I did. I definitely did. Uh, I don't think you did. Too bad. Going again. I think I did for sure, though. I just, because the last time around, I just, I let Lady and the Tricky go before me. Yeah, you come in after me. Nice house on the lake, number one. I found my phone. This is just a buy it now. I'm going to drop a starting line. This is a $15 buy it now. Yeah. 15 if anyone's interested in that. Ben. Let me get a starting line down. Starting line. So 15, Ben. It's a cover B. It's a nice house on the lake, number one, near Mint. Ben 15. And then... Damn you, T-Pain. Damn you. T -Pain's in on it. All right, you got it, T-Pain. Cool. I'll put that with your other stuff. Um, and then I was going to auction one of these two books you guys can pick, I guess. Or we could eventually add and get them both in if you want, uh, at $5 start. So you guys, if you really want the Hulk and you don't care about Venom, be it right now, five for Hulk. Five. Weapon H. Weapon H. This is the Dale Keown variant cover to number one. Or if you're like, no, fuck that Hulk, I just want the Venom. I'm looking for that virus book. $5 starting bid on either of these. Just gotta like specify which one you want most. Whoever bids first, we're gonna go with that one. And if there's no takers on either, I'll, I can go find something else. But five dollar each would be the start. You just kind of like pick, and we'll bid from there. And maybe we'll just do like a quick one minute auction for each book, and we'll do both. I don't. Know. We're at fifteen. They both come in. So if you want to just bid fifteen, we can start there and do both books. Weapon. All right. Cool. So at five bucks for this guy. I'll run a slightly shorter timer. What are we doing here? I'll just do. Got some Thor. I have Donny Kate's Thor. I don't really have any more old Thor. I sold most of mine. That I'm not keeping. T Pain is in at five bucks for this. Near mint, near mint plus, slab worthy. It's a nice one. Weapon H, Dale Keown. Making a little return to Marvel. Uh, number one. A newsstand? No, they're all direct at this point. But it's nice to like not see them slap on their direct edition. Whatever. Weapon H variant edition number one. Five bucks. You go to 15. The Venom will come in. Venom 26 first virus. If not, we got 30 seconds left. This We're at five bucks for this guy right here. Five dollars starting bid. T-Pain is in at five. If you go to 15, I'll bring in the Venom 26. So at 15, 1 5, they both come in.
Starscream is also in at five. We're already at five. You gotta go to six or higher. T Pain's already in at five. Um this Hulk, is it not? Star Scream, you just got a bit. If you want to get in, it's six dollars or more. Cause we're already at five. That was the inline, uh, the timer. So in a few seconds, I'm gonna drop the inline. If you want to go to 10, I have a Hulk 361, the Hulk Iron Man cover. This would come in at $10. Right now, it's, Hulk Iron Man cover. it's uh, for $5 just for this one. I'm going to drop the inline. It's just T-Pain. So, Starscream, once again, last final chance. If you want to get in, you got to bid six or more. We are already at five. He is right there. Boom. Okay. Cool. And T Pain's in at ten. So both books are in at ten then. Star skin folds. Alright, I'll drop the end line. This is in there. Anybody can still come in. That's a cool cover. Just a double. I thought I needed it and I already had it. So I'll tear down the title. Tearing down the title Tuesday. Does the other one still come in at fifteen? Um, no. Okay. And line. Bam. Okay. T pain for 10. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. And I got you for the nice house of the lake. And, uh, and I think it's Traffic Trickster. Well, I got about two yes. more rounds for you fine folks out there. Don't miss this opportunity to get all these giveaways. Go share this with a friend. We gotta hit forty live viewers. Yes, yes. You guys, get another gust of wind. Get, get, get another. Get some. Get some. Get another. Get another big old. Gust of heart, You're looking heart for some. You go share. It. Joie de vivre. Some grit. Go, guys. Raise on that Raise that morale and go and go share Carpe this with a couple them, friends, bitches. so I can get you that giveaway. We want to give you with it. We want to give you stuff here. You just gotta do a little bit of work. All right. Um, this is a doom lot I've been building for a while. Uh, it's a doom a lot. Most fantastic lot, but as far as like keys go, but who cares about keys? This uh, this is a really cool lot. I'm gonna start this off at fifteen. We have the West Coast Avengers. 35 nice doom cover uh, I don't know that it's Kirby but it looks very Kirby-esque we got Heroes I didn't hear it Rebellion. right how much what was it 15 starting bit we got doom heroes reborn issue one we got doomsday issue one heroes reborn we have what if secret wars doom uh, what if secret wars so we got doom with the infinity gauntlet and then there's another Doom here in the reflection of the gauntlet. So, gonna have to read to find out what happens there. Uh, we got the uh, Emperor Returns issue one, one of three. And then lastly, but not leastly, uh, Fantastic Four, November. This is 406. Really sick Doom cover. Doom is back. So, $15 starting bid. Um, two passes, and I'll move on. If not, uh, it'll be $15 to get in on this lot that I've been working on. Check the private. Check your privates. Check your privates, privates. So, it's up to you guys. Two passes and I'll, and I'll go to a different lot. How can you pass up on this cover? I don't know. I just don't know. 
And this cover got lightning in the background. The man who will be Doom. Got a nice nose cover. Doom nose. All right, guys, say something. Say pass or let it roll. I'll put up a different lot. Come on, you. Come on, you chat. Say something, damn yes. Something. Say something, damn it. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Oh. All right. So oh, that's a great one. West Coast Avengers. I have that one. Oh, it's a fantastic book. In newsstand, so kiss my booty. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Well, well, okay. Oh, well, okay, F you too. F you three. All right. You guys are not only saying, not only saying not, you're not only not saying past, you're not saying a damn thing. Right. Um, hmm. Let's try this. This is fun. This is fun. All right, uh, something, damn it. All right, so this will just start off at at five bucks. So you just come in, come in whenever. It's the first appearance of Prime, okay? First appearance of Prime. You got a Prime versus the Incredible Hulk double signed with COA. And then uh, you got Prime, all new Prime. Uh, featuring the Sensational Spider Prime, issues one and two. Issues one and two. All right. Oh, a kissy cover too. Look at those muscles. Uh, so that's the entire lot. Prime one, the first appearance of Prime. The near mint. Prime versus Hulk. This is a really nice book. Double signed with COA. And then on the back of it, Hulk's here. So it's a wraparound cover with the Hulk. That's sick. Prime one and two. Yeah. Prime 1 and 2. We got Sensational Spider Prime. So pretty cool books. Pretty cool books. Is that the same price for those two? Or did, uh -huh. you, need, did you need like the starting line price? Is it different? Than oh, yeah. Well, I told them when to come in, but I don't think anyone. Okay, let's say I can change it. But. Or we'll just keep the 15 and do uh, Justice League Adventures 1, 9, 8, 10, 11, and 12. Six books, 15, 15 buckaroos. All right, and I also have my buy it nows, which are sketch covers that I draw on. It's fifty dollars a sketch cover. Uh, you pick which one you want. You have me draw whatever you want, as long as I'm not drawing your grandma as a hero. Uh, I'll I'll draw it. So I'll draw any character on any of these books that you want. I like your right. Madam Web. See, my Madam Web is still available. And it's right here. And you want a nice Madam Web and some lingerie on your wall? Let me know. Who's Prime? Who raised you? Who raised you, man? <laughs> All right. So no one's in on any of this. Say what I now? Like it. All right, no one wants any. Uh, all right, we got. That was my second to last round. Someone likes turtles. I have one more lot to show because we have one more round to go. All right, all right. I mean, if you want to get another round together and do two more, you can. Nope, 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 nope. No. No. All right. Nope, nope, nope. nope. All right. My Should be I'm, 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 I'm maimed by the mm -hmm. chat. Maimed, you're hurt. I'm maimed. Wounded. Say pass. Or yes. 
support. Mr. Taz is the only one that came through. You mad, bro? No, no, no. Just maimed. Flogged? Just forever maimed. It's just a flesh one. Yeah. Who wants, Who wants to sell next? Who's ready? Who wants to go? Uh, hold on. Uh, um, I can. Um. Who wants to give it a go? Who wants to give a nice go of it? Okay, hold on. I've got this thing. You though. Um. Invincible Stop. Iron Man number seven, third print. I think this is tied with another book for the very. First time Riri Williams appears on the cover of a book. And it is going through the roof. This is an excellent shape. You can buy it for 70. So that's a bin for 70. Um, first time, it's tied with another book for the very first time that Riri Williams appears on the cover. So there you have it. Um, mm-hmm. It's a Ben 70. Yeah. Um, and now I'm going to start off. This is a Silver Surfer lot. It's five book lot. And I'm going to start it off at five bucks. So here we go. You got Morg and Morg's Axe. Silver Surfer 80. Good tear axe, right? Morg and Mindy. And then you've got, I believe this is. 81. Needs Ganymede. Five dollars. And then we've got Silver Surfer 83, where he fights Fire Lord in New Sand. Silver Surfer 84. I've never seen that book. <laughs> And Silver Surfer 85. New stand. Five dollars. Someone says pass, I'll gladly pass and do something else. Some people aren't into the galactic world. No, they're not gonna say anything. They're not gonna say anything, that's true. They're not gonna say pass. <laughs> okay. That's true. You're right. They won't. Um <laughs> I have this Doctor Voodoo Avengers Supernatural number one. Remenders on that. I can do a bin twenty five. This shit's gonna go. But Ooh. that's all I got. So that's print. Oh yeah, dude. This shit's hard to find. It's low print. If you can find the one to fifteen, it's even better. But um. Dr. Voodoo, Avenger Supernatural, I got a Ben 25, um, and then Invincible Iron Man um, number seven, third print, first appearance of Riri Williams, and then this is the first cover appearance tied for first cover appearance as well. So that's a Ben, this is a Ben 70. Um, how much, give me like 30 seconds if we've got the no talkers. Okay, 30 seconds, go. 30 seconds for the no taco, which is fine. I mean, I understand being quiet. I ain't hating. I think I think that voodoo cover is better than the other voodoo cover anyway. Which one, the voodoo? Yeah. Is it? Did you say which? What was the uh, variant? The I think it's a one to fifteen tan or something. But he, it's an homage. It's an homage to an old school one. I think it's badass, but it's just like. A ghost, a ghosty make ghost. But I mean, I, I like that art too. I mean, I, I don't think, think I don't Mr. think Mr. Proceed it means better. Need issue for four fifty. Got it. I have some of those as well. Okay. Um, here I have this little thing. If anybody, let's just do this little thing and start it at a, you know, a buck. It's just I had I found firepower number one. Um, this uh, airship enterprise number one, which that's Antarctic Press, um, and then this Blade Runner twenty ninety nine number um four, but it's a Peach Momoko. Um, you know, if somebody wants to bend now, I can do a bend five. If anybody wants that, 
um, elapse. I bid five on these. We should auction this for five. This is yes. Should I auction it at five? Yeah, it's a lot of books. All right, three books, five dollars. Okay. Put a minute on the timer. Put a minute on the timer. I will, and I'll even put. I need to put this Blade Runner in a better bag, so I'll do that. One minute. Indie books, really cool. That's neat. Uh, Firepower is uh, Robert Kirkman, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. There's that. Pop him in there. Then we've got the. Ichimamamoko. Kirkman and something, something, Samney. And this really, I mean, it's like Starship Enterprise. It looks like Steampunk, Steampunk, the next generation. Like, does it not? It's exactly what it looks like to me. It looks cool as hell, though. All right, I'm the only one that's, like, even slightly amused by that, but I thought it was badass. Is this an A cover? Yeah. It's a Peach Momo A. What do you got, like, 40 seconds left? 30, 20, 10? 11, 10, 9, 8. Yeah, not on the cover, but not on the cover, but on the bag, but. Okay. Well, whatever. I only went for five anyway. Last chance if anyone wants to get in on this lot. There you go. T pins in. T pin never lets me have anything. All right. Uh, pardon me, that was gross. I was, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, Unless you're adding stuff. Because I just wrote down final bit. No, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, yeah. This is a Ben 10 if anybody wants it. Seven big boy final bid. And yeah. Firepower. Oh, yeah. T Pain likes weird shit. That's why. He's like, give me the weird shit. I want the airship book, but I don't care about the others. Okay. T Pain wants some more than me. Eight bucks. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it. Airship Enterprise. Okay. Um. This is a Ben 10. If anybody wants this New Gods Millennium mm -hmm. Edition, yeah. Jack Kirby Ben 10. Yeah. That's all I got for you. Um, mm. Thank you, T Pain, for eight. All right, guys. I think that's going to be my last for tonight because I'm an old granny. Um, well, yeah. I mean, just put some pants on, get a second win. You can do a couple more rounds. Okay, fine. God damn you. <laughs> Fucking asshole. You can do one more. I can do one more. You could do one more. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, handsome, what you got? Hey, people. This probably is my last round because I have to be up at 5.30 in the morning. You yuck. Your screen's frozen. Screen's frozen. frozen. For me, anyway. Maybe, everybody. Let's see if I can change it by taking it off the screen. Still frozen. Yeah. Well, so do you want to just try to back out and come back in? Come back. We will wait. We will wait for you. What do you want from me? What do you guys want? Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, right up, right up, down the home. Doesn't matter. 
Bam. Bam, bam, choo choo tram. Looks like it's better already. Yes. All right. I'm in full effect here. Yes. Full t 1080 PI, whatever. All right. Well, I'm, I'm hearing rumblings of people liking turtles. So, yeah. And uh, I'm a turtle guy, if you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram. So I have a few turtle books. And uh, I'm going to do like a builder thing here. So I have uh, old mirage stuff here. Issue eight and issue nine. And I'm going to, well, let's start it out at uh, 10 bucks. That's a good one. Yeah. And then, uh, I'd say if we get to, I'm just going to throw it in a lump here. If we get to 20 bucks, I'll throw in issue 15 and then uh, Turtles, a TV source book. Hmm. This is a Toys R Us exclusive. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I, I got some weird stuff. The only issue uh, on my issue 15, a little wavy. I don't know if you can see that, but... Uh, a little wavy. Nothing to press won't fix. Action. So those two are in some bucks. Wavy, my favorite kind of chips. All right, now while we're waiting, so mm -hmm. I have this book. I don't really have a price on it. I'm just gonna throw it up. And if someone wants to make an offer to me on Instagram, sure, offer, um, because I really don't know what to price it at. eBay is a little bit all over the place. There's actually none listed on eBay right now mm -hmm. that aren't graded yeah. 300 something dollars. So this is a Tales. Tales of the TMT 70. So it's the last book from Tales. So it's one of the last books Mirage published. You said. So yeah, this is like 2006, I believe. And then maybe a little further than that. 2009. 2009. I can't quite remember the exact year. But it was one of the last books. Well, yeah, if you're interested in that, throw me an offer. It's pretty sick. It's it's a retelling of the Return to the New York um, saga, the three issue saga that's in the the normal run, but it's done in the tale. So, just putting it out there. <laughs> So what's your lot? I didn't see it. Nine and eight. All right, I'm coming in. I'm going to take these from you. Wait. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Today, I'm going to start my TMNT collection. When prices are the fairest. <clears throat> well, you know. What's that character's name right there? Morgan? What's her oh, name? Oh, it's, uh. It's been so long since I've read it. She's, yeah, she's a time traveler. Yeah, Morgan something, right? Oh. Now you're going to have to make me look it up. <laughs> What's the issue? I'll look it up. Hey. All right. Issue eight. 
Yeah. Once you say it, I'm going to be pissed, but I didn't remember it. Yeah, because you're a dummy. Uh, where are you? Where is she? <clears throat> TMNT8. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be like, I didn't know that either, but I knew it, you know. Boop, boop, boop. Here, I'll check and see. Where can I find it? Here. Volume one. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Uh, Renette. Her name is Renette. No, she has a name. Name. Yeah, she's the time first, Renette. That, that's her name. Oh, okay. Not what I was thinking. Yeah. <clears throat> Guest starring Cerebus. Yeah, I believe uh, this is the one and only crossover with Cerebus. So. Well, yeah, like I said, get into 20, 15, and the, uh, the well, you source tell me that. come into it. So, yeah. so, at at so this is like a yeah, 2003 series. It has like a bunch of shit from the Renette Tilly. Yeah. That's her name. Uh, so that that other book comes in at twenty. Uh, yeah. What, just you get the one. 15, you get fifteen. And the uh, oop. Ah, shit. The source book. So those come in at twenty. Both of them. Yeah, yeah both of them. <laughs> We're at seventeen. What's My team and T uh, collection is growing. An A minor and like really, these are in really good grade. Yeah, this book and this book is in really great shape. Yeah, and you know, sometimes these books will go for 10, 15 just by themselves. Right, right, right. Maybe more than that, depending on uh, condition. <clears throat> oh. That was my final bid. I'm gonna move these right. babies. We've been proud of you. Finally uh, getting a turtle collection going. Well, I have a, I have a couple. I mean, I have a couple. Yeah. Issue yeah. issue one and two. Yeah. yeah. I, have yeah. Like a, I like five issue ones. First print, you know. I'm just joking. I don't have that. All right. It looks like I am a proud owner. <clears throat> and I'm also a donor. You're a new daddy, daddy. I donate oh. to uh, dogs in need. If a dog needs a heart and it's compatible, I'll give it to him. I think. It doesn't work that way. I'm right off here. So you guys have a great night. Thanks for having me on. Uh, I'm really late. Hey, happy to have you. All right. Well,
Take care. All right, team. All right. My last of the night. I do, ha I do have another lot in front of me. Oh, if great. I'm starting at <laughs> three books, and Still I'm starting at $15. 15 well, mm. We've got What If X-Men Had Stayed in Asgard, number 12, nice. volume 2. That should be a kissy cover. It was basically a kissy cover. Then it turned into a prince. Their, ham their hammers are kissing. Um, mm. What If 58... Oh shit! What if the Punisher had killed Spider Man? Nice book. And it's in very nice shape. If anyone requ requests a spine slide, I can do that. And then finally, what if 66 Rogue possessed the power of Thor? Oh, uh, who drew that? Oh, you're killing me on this one. You're killing me on this one. I gotta get that book right The starting bid is at 15. I want that one. I want that one. I want that book right there. Oh, TP, TP's in before you. And then, like, I have a thing. I can show a book, but it's like, if you go up to 50, I'll throw this extra book in. She said well, she has a thing. Tell us what it is. Lady has a thing. I have this thing. I've never have even seen thing. that rogue book. Never even seen it. If it goes to 50. Ooh, whip, ooh, whip. And it's not like a fucked up nasty cover either. It's like what issue is that? Thing. What if? 66? Yeah, that is this is what if. Storm. Storm. Oh, yes. It's 66 was the storm one that you were like wanting to marry. Yeah. These are cool. These are cool books. And then here's this. What if? I'm going to read this book. This is going to be lit. Do you know who did the cover to that? Mm -mm. Can I guess? It's right there. Yeah. It's right there under her. Uh, it's right there under her. Uh, her oh, shit. Thing. What's it say? George, who is that? Royal? R O Y L E? And Bambozy? Oh, man. I'm going to find out who this is right now. <clears throat> R-O-Y-L-E? I'll let you know here in a second. And Bambozy? Uh, John Royal. There you go, Grid Games. Appreciate the uh, the assist. John, oh, nice grid. John Royal. His stuff's good, man. That's a really great cover. Uh, he did uh, some things. This guy. There's so many. There are so many like artists out there who see what makes an artist popular is the title that they are on like so ron lim uh is not the most fantastic galactic galactic like marvel artist there is like he's not he's not that great but because he was working on great books like you know Del I mean? Otto and Granoff can do some badass <clears throat> play shit. But like there there are artists out there who like that guy who, who no one fucking knows who it is and they're fantastic and their shit don't stink, but people This is Valentino. Yeah, I mean Jim Valentino. Yeah, well that's fantastic. But Valentino got popular because of you know the work he worked on. He didn't get popular because he's good. I mean, he's good, obviously, but like, that's not why he's popular. Like this, this boy, like this royal guy, he's fantastic. Like Bart, yeah, exactly. People just like get on these like uh, these titles, and you know, 
that are that are popular reads. Like the story, the the story writer makes these stories so good that like Granov like, yeah. on um, Nova, like Granov and Dan, uh, Delato on Nova. <laughs> Sure, this, this book right here reminds me of like it reminds me of like uh angel medina like just a hair i mean she's ripped that looks sick i mean she's gonna bust you bro <laughs> dude she's a badass like that's the coolest cover and it's a new stand so and it's sick. a new stand that's a thing yeah looks like paul ryan you are so funny You should Twitter that to him. So Did basically, for twenty more dollars, for twenty more dollars at fifty, this is basically the mother load. The what if thirty one? What if Wolverine had killed the Hulk? It's so hard it, to find this in deep. Would you do it at fifteen more dollars? No. Okay. We got twenty more dollars. All right, all right, all right, all right. Payne says he's in. So there's got a couple of dings, but it's in such nice shape compared to, like, usually just find these raggedy-ass ones. And this one's decent. I like it. It's in, it's in nice shape to me. You it's know that road color cover? Sorry, I keep going back to it. Yeah, uh, she's upset. got a, a choke collar, a spiked choke collar on. And choke Holy. bracelet she's got spiked bracelets on she's on the roids as well. she's got roy rage that's all it is i mean this is obviously an evil rogue it's not this is not your not your sissified tweety bird not your x-men adventures rogue yeah she's not your little little country Country bumpkin. Look, they're on her. They're on her ankles too. The Avengers are just knocked the f out. She she possesses so the power of Thor, but and also wears spikes on her neck. What the fuck? Oh, all right, all right. This looks like they're going to T Pain. All right, T Pain. Badass, all right. Badass. Well, thank you, sir. And you got you got some like these are like the top of their class in terms of what ifs. These are the one people right. bring up, right? Yeah, yeah, more or less. Other than that rogue, I mean, first time we've seen it. Um, Amazing. thank you, sir. And um, I think that was my last, right? <clears throat> Are you not? I don't know. Me? I mean, you could go one. No, that's fine. Yeah. We'll yeah. probably do one more, and we're done. It's tricky. Yeah. So are you done, tricky? You want to do one more? No, I have one more round. Okay, right, perfect. Right. Yeah, I'll start off at a buck. I'll start off at one dollar. We got a force one. Okay. Nice spec book here, guys. Uh huh. Like it. It's true. Like it's good. Uh, we got some fillers. We got four hundred one. We got three three seventy nine. We got a nice. Uh, we got a nice blue Marvel cover. Uh, this is issue three of the Mighty Avengers. So, if you're building yeah, the Mighty, you need to build a Mighty Avengers a lot because there's only like fourteen books in the run or something. If that. Y'all need Pick that's the main one. You know why? That's when Adam Bashir first joined the Avengers. That's a key. As a sleeper, don't fucking sleep on it. You need this book in your collection. <clears throat> yeah. I think you need I think you need to pick up the whole run, but yeah. Uh Adam I think you're right run, too. There's only, there's only a couple keys in the lot of the I, run, but this I'm trying to put the run together. Nice. I got this, uh this is a it's a Tom Palmer cover, 402, a nice painted cover. Uh, we got 377. So there's some there's some fillers in here. We got Avengers Unplugged. Um, uh, issue three. Nice butt to butt action. Booty booty. And this look. This is why you guys want this lot. Ja the first annual. It's gorgeous too. It's a nice book. It's not bad at all. Uh, this book is it's not cheap. So there's three pretty damn good keys in here. So this is the uh, Avengers Annual 1, the first annual two Avengers. So pretty sick book. Um, pretty sick book. Uh, it needs a press and a clean, but 
it's not bad for an annual, for an old annual. Sick lot, sick lot. Starting off at a dollar. Look up your books. Get your mighty Avengers. Also, though. Get this one. And then get this one. Okay. Okay. Right? Yes. Oh, let me check my messages, lady. Not annual one. Oh, I made a mistake. It's not annual one. It's, what is it then, bro? It's not the first annual. Sorry. I made a mistake. I got, I got a, uh, I got a, uh, I got a dictionary in my DMs. I got a dictionary in my DMs over here. Uh, but I can say for sure that it's Giant Size Avengers issue one. Well, that's what they called giant. They called they called annuals giant size before they were annuals. Does that make sense? Or am I crazy as hell? No. I mean, yeah. Am King, I wrong? Size. King size. King size. Oh. Okay, I gotcha. Look, I'm learning too, guys. You guys are teaching me all my all my comic knowledge. I thought that giant sized, but yeah, I didn't. I guess I didn't realize king size was was the thing. Yeah, I know it says giant size Avengers. I mean, I could read. It's just I thought these were the annuals, but I guess I didn't consider the king size. Giant sized pee pee. Yeah, I mean, we all know that uh, there's one person on here that has a giant size PP. Me. Any guesses? Lady. No, it's the wizard. It's the wizard. Ah. <laughs> the wizard. I mean, of course he does. You know where the wizard comes from. He comes from the Squadron Sinister. Sixty-four big pages. The wizard is actually Wanda's real father. Wanda and uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. He's their real dad. Um, just my baby daddy. Where I need I need these books. I need to book. I need to confirm this while reading. So send me those copy those issues, Parker, so I can read them. I need to know. Is that true? What? Yeah, it's revealed. Is, the, is the wizard the real father? Yeah, they reveal it in Avengers one eighty five. She's a uh, Wanda Frank. His name is uh, like Otto Frank or something like that. Autobot. That's dope. My dad's an Autobot. My father's an Autobot. My mom's a hoe. There was a lot of Decepticons in my life. <laughs> butt to butt cover. Frank Furter? Frank Farter? Frank Furter. Frank Farter? No, no. You guys have so much smarts. Sausage. Bleh. Listen, I know a lot. Between me and Parker, we know almost You guys know like four things, dude. No, no, between me and Parker. It's like 12 things. Other than this thing, me and Parker know almost everything. Mm -mm. We've seen every movie between the two of us. No, I'm oh, talking like just bad common, movie. common character knowledge. Me and Parker, between bad. the two of us, know everyone. You guys are idiot savants. Oh, yeah. Well, we know we know the wizard. <laughs> uh, yeah. we, get, we get that the wizard, wizard is old. But this wizard is not that wizard. Is it? How nice, how nice condition is that giant here, look. Let me take it out and show you this giant. Oh, 
show you this giant size wizard. <clears throat> well, you know, obviously it needs cleaning the press. Right. Pretty damn nice, man. Pretty damn fine, if not very fine. It's a it's a good copy. Uh, it does need cleaning the press. Um, you know, this is where they had the wrap around the they wrap the cover around the staple. Uh, but it's really a pretty good copy. Yeah, it's it's probably. A, I mean, I'm just gonna call it a fine. But once a clean, once you get it clean and pressed out right, it could be a VF. Definitely. I'm back. Uh oh, where the hell did you go? I had to have a little pee meeting. Does it take you? It takes you thirty minutes to go pee. It's fucked up. Yeah. All right. Well, I was peeing so, on your mom. Oh. Oh. Okay. I understand why it took so long. X Force One or A Force One. So do we have? We have a fold from. Oh, shutters in it. Twenty one. Well, hello. Surprise, surprise. Wake me up before you go down. Don't have my ding dong hanging like a yo yo. You don't have to worry about that. I know. I know. Been trying to fall asleep. Did you did you watch the auction jelly fingers just to fall asleep? Then <laughs> <laughs> cat shows up. Cat's a troublemaker. But I will say, look at this. What do you look mean? <laughs> You're Quicksilver's not. Butt. I just like to fuck with you. <laughs> this starring Magneto and Rogue. Do you guys see? You guys see Quicksilver's butt right here? It's pretty yeah. Nice. Oh, do you see Wolfsbane butt? Wolfsbane. Wolf yeah, Spain's that's a good right one there. I like that one. It's a pretty cover. I mean, it's like really striking from far away, you know. Mm -hmm. I like the moon. Yeah, I actually really like Wolfsbane in the movie. Yeah, she's cool. We got. Oh, uh, don't sleep on that, Mister Punchy Sky. Mister Punchy Sky. On Adam Bashir, joining the Avengers. Don't. You have. You have to punch the sky. You have to punch the sky. It's the rules. Punching Sky, yeah. You gotta punch Sky if you're here. At you least one. Do, you gotta do a little dick twist. Twist that dick. You know, I thought I I thought I'd drew wonky eyes sometime. Actually, you guys see my post, my uh my Titana post where it's the first appearance of Titana in that MC Wyman picture of Titana. Same same artist. Same artist. Oh. All right, That's so we got folds from everyone. That's a good grab shot, or straight up. Twenty-three. And it, was there was there anyone else in? So yeah, that's it. That's it. Congratulations. Twenty-three. Drop the line, baby. <clears throat> awesome pickup, man. I'd pick up that lot at twenty-three. You probably did. Oh. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess, let me see. Um, five on that for sure. Probably. I probably paid a little more than that, honestly. Like, if I total all the books up. But that's the way what it goes. Doing here? That's the way love goes. You got the biggest nostrils on earth. Nah. I think they're a big You can make them move. That's disgusting. Stop it. Can I lube those up? Can you move your ears? Moving your ears is a vestigial um it's a vestigial trait. Meaning that like, you know, we came from little critters that could like move our ears around to hear like fucking uh animals That's and bull. shit. That's bullshit. But I can move my ears. No, you can't. Said no, I can't move my ears now. Oh, thank you. Look, 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 I'm going to move him. All right, Jack. Oh, my Jack. God. What? I can move my ears. What muscle moves your ears? 
Well, uh, there are these vestigial muscles that like some people are born with, or it's like um uh, an evolutionary remnant, like um, nipples on dudes, like it has no real use, um, but only certain people. Oh, on the contraire. Also bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I've got nipples. I mean, you put some gator clips on them, and I'm doing some yeah, well, shit. Well, if, when I move my ears, my, my, my titties move as well. Cat, like, wears <laughs> the nipple um, things, like, while he's auctioning. They're, like, hey, on the hey. You know, ball gags and and uh, you know some freaking clothespins on my nipples and any kind of cockadoodle do rings. Yeah, just yeah. just smear me in jello and freaking oh let me dance God. around a campfire. And, and who do can't, you? We can't. That's what I call that and Tuesday. And who do you rule? The large dark nipple people. I call that Tuesday. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. <laughs> Here's my starting line. Probably the final round here. Oh, no. I mean, you guys are welcome to do one more go of it. We can keep hanging out, but I'm I'm probably done showing books. But, I, I mean, we can just keep hanging out live. I don't care. I'm done. I got to go to bed. Can I do a lot after you? Excuse me. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. 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 Uh, as I buy it now, absolutely, baby. Uh, $20 bin, bin 20, if you would like the full run of Black Panther and the crew. I don't even know if it's the full run. It's one through six. It's got to be the Show one. it. Show pictures. I will. One. Two. 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 I beat him to the line. Three. Four. Five ah! and six. So full run, uh, bin twenty. Hmm. If you run into the rise of the Black Panther, hit me up. I have number one of it, but I don't have. I have, it. I have just number one that I could sell. But I have the number one and like variants of number one. Ooh. But I want number two. I want it all actually, because I'm a little shit. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, so Black Panther and the crew, one through six, $20 bin. This was my very first round. I don't know if people who are here now weren't here then, but I offered, offered, uh, I offered five of those DC villain, uh, was like forever evil villain number one month kind of thing. The non-lenticular ones, these are actually harder to find. Um, I had five of them. I could start it at 10 bucks. There was no takers earlier, but if there are takers now, we can I'll do the same deal. $10 starting bid. Killer Frost, Ocean Master, Lex Luthor, Metallo, and Mongol. Uh, they're all VF near mint, near mint minus, mostly. They're pretty much all like 9 twos, 9 to 9 fours. So they're all kind of that very fine near mint border range. Pretty much, they've all just been read once or twice. Like, there's like a, a tick on a, two of them, and two ticks on one. One of them is fine. Near, near mint, not fine. Fine is a great. So, whatever. Uh, Ten dollars would start all of these. Uh, twenty twenty dollars gets the lenticular black hand in. That one is minty. Mentor. Mentor for our show. Twenty basically twenty dollar bin would take all those as well. So twenty dollars gets you the Black Panther and the crew run. Uh twenty dollars in addition. Another twenty would get you the DC villains. My last auction here. Same starting price, twenty dollars. Would get you six of these lenticular covers. Of the Marvel Legacy number ones. So these are lenticular versions. There's a Captain Marvel and Hulk number one. This starts at twenty dollars. Two zero, twenty bucks. Iron Man and Iron Man. Iron Fist, Fighting Sabretooth. And then it's just like an updated version of Iron Fist and Sabretooth.
Avengers 16 turns to Defenders. So, somewhere in there. Sweet Christmas. Come on. Amazing Fantasy 50. I'm wrong. Uh, Spider Man was a 252. And this here is the first appearance of Spinneret. No, Spiderling. It tells you. In theory, it tells you. Look over right there. Spider. Spiderling. So, first appearance in that one. And then this last one. Alex Ross cap. Very nice, very nice. 20 bucks for all the books. Uh, if you go to 30, I can add the two Days of Future Past X Men covers. Whatever. These, would, these come in at 30. The whole stack of lenticulars is at 20. Uh, $20 buy it now for the whole Black Panther and the crew set. Um, $20 buy it now would get you all the DC villain covers and the lenticular black hand. And Thomas is in at 126. Yeah, Thomas, what's the 126? Are you, are you giving me the number of one of these things that I couldn't think of? Iron Man 126, that is right. That's right. Smart guy. Okay, my last offer of books is just going to be some buy it now. Anybody can jump in at 20 on those Marvel lenticulars. Um, I just have a few stack of buy it now. It's, I have a stack of a few buy it now. <laughs> Final Crisis number seven. Final issue. This is the first appearance of Calvin Ellis. Comes President Superman. He's actually on the cover too, right there. So this does predate that DC New 52 number nine, like action number nine, I think is the number. Whatever. Number yeah. Is. Yeah. Um, this came before that. That one's a much better cover. Full appearance. He's got the suit on and stuff, but. He is right up there. First appearance. It's in a near mint minus near mint. A press would fix that right up. Get you that near mint plus. This has one little pressable defect. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollar bin. Fifty dollars. Cheaper than any eBay listing. Cheaper than I have it on IG. Fifty bucks. Avengers Annual Ten. One hundred dollar buy it now. It is a Mid, lower to mid grade copy has a light spine roll, a little bit loose in the staple, just a little. Still fully attached. The complete book, it's all there. I did. I said pressable defect. What's up, Comic Forge? Um, one hundred dollar bin on the first Rogue. Again, it's probably like a <laughs> three point five to four point oh, maybe less. The spine's a little rough. There's some other creases. It's not terrible, though. Complete book. $100. Um, back down to 50 I have the... It's like the first cameo of Hush, of the guy who become, who is Hush, uh, Jason... Something, something, something. Not. But it's the following issue, I believe. I might have that wrong. 608's first, like, cameo. 609, that's this book, is like the second, this is like the second cameo. So it's still not like the money hush book, but it's like the second more expensive one. Either way, it's a gorgeous Jim Lee cover. Catwoman and Poison Ivy there. Um, high grade. Near mint minus. It's probably a 9-2, 9-4. So you get that whole run. There's some really cool covers on in there. Yeah, they're all Jim Lee, so... They're, some of those covers are just freaking amazing. 
Yeah, this is also 50. $50 bin on this one, too. 50 bucks. Um, there's no ticks. It just needs a press. Like it, I think it was been read before. There's no spine ticks. It's just, it can... Whatever. It's one of those books, like, you can tell, that's probably like a 9.6. A press could really, like, give it that extra boost. Um, and, f -f 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 finally... If anyone's interested in Silverhawks, Ben Batman, all right, T Pain. Want this guy? That's all yours then. That is 50. That's still all right. And there you go. That's yours. Silverhawks, one, two, three. One, two, and three. It's a three book set. And it's in one of those, like, comic grab bag kind of things that they sell at grocery stores and comic stores is like a thing that thing they put together to sell extras together. Hey, what's up, Forge? Um, yeah, it's man, still I just, uh, gathering some love for the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Comic Forge? Um, there's the back side of it. This is a $300 bid. It's a little high, but these Silverhawks number one on its own is a hundred dollar bit. And then the, you do, you can't find these. There isn't another one of these available right now unless someone has one on their like am, like Mercari. <laughs> Mercari. I don't know. I don't know what people have on their Craigslist or whatever or other whatnots. Maybe it's on a whatnot page somewhere. I don't know, but they are very rare. It's very hard to find any of these like grab bag collections. Uh, still sealed, but especially when it's a key book or a harder to find or a rare book or those star comics. A lot of those were grabbed by kids, snatched up. I'm sure I did not just open it, thank God. <laughs> okay. Cool, got you, T Pain. Thank you. Uh, that is all for me. Uh, it looks like Cat60 has another round. Maybe. And then. And then, and then, no, and then. All right, I got a builder lot of gold age true comics. Um, these range anywhere from three o to six o, maybe higher. Um, so I'm going to start it with this one. This is uh. Number 59. I have it at a 6.0 from 1947. I'm going to start it at 25. Every 25 bucks brings in another book. Yep, it's Bob Hope. Next one to come in would be number 68. Uh, from 1948. Um, I have this at about a 3.0. So, up to you. 25 bucks a book. Actually, those are out of order. So, actually, the next book that comes in would be this one, which is. 67, um, which is a 6 0 at So that's two. And then I have, uh, so this was, um, this one's 65. This is a 5.5, maybe 6 L. Uh, another 25 bucks. Why are these out of order? I'm an idiot.
خواهم افتاد Did you get your books, T-Pain? All right. Another 25 bucks gets the rest of the 1947 series. I got... I got uh, 63, 64, and 65. So 125 would... If you want to go to 125, you get all, all of them that I have from 1947. That would be five books. So twenty-five bucks brings in the next book. So just to, and they the only one that's uh, this is the only one that's a three point oh. All of them are five oh or better. Okay. Then we have nineteen forty eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, like, I, if you if you have any interest in these, I've got uh, um, 72, 73, 74, and 75. Are these both the same? I'm missing one of these numbers is wrong. I mean, I have, like, I have, like, damn near complete round. So, it's uh, 72... 73, 74, 75, and 76 would be the next the next ones at 25 each. However many you want. I'll start at 72, which is a 5-0. 73 is a 3-0. Uh, 74 is a 3-0. 75, 3-0. 76, 3-0. Do you want any of these? Okay, dude, okay. Let's wrap it up then. Thank you, T-Pain. I'll keep them on the side, man. Just when you're when you come in, if you're interested, just let me know. Parker, did he go on break? Yeah, he's probably walking his dog or something, quote unquote, <laughs> humping a tree. <laughs> That's nice. What? I'm so nice. I'm the nicest. One, two. There's three. This has to be three. One, two. Two, three. Three. Four. Oh. I got a seventy five dollar buy it now. Oh, you're kidding me. That sucked. Tape stuck. Let's fix this bag thing. I got a $75 buy it now on 20 on uh, the night the uh, 2020 Kate's run. Number one, cover A. Number two, fourth print, uh, both the trade and virgin. Uh, number three, I think it's fourth print also. Right. Number three, I think this is fourth print cover A or uh, trade in virgin. Number four, I think this is second print. Yeah, second print trade in virgin. And number five, I think this is second print also. Um, trade and virgin 75 bucks for the whole thing what 
lot of keys in this. We got a cameo, the Winter Storm. You got the Winter Storm. And where is Parker? Parker. Parker. I feel alone. I feel alone. Okay, thank you. I'm just over here sweating balls. <laughs> Cats making people say uncle. Uncle. Or on to the next one, please. Get him off the stage. All right, beep, 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 in line. Does anybody else want to do another one, or are we done? So I'm gonna tap out, man. I'm gonna go to bed. Um, but I'll hit everybody up and thank you, thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. And um, <laughs> thanks everybody. Back in care. Be safe. Wipe your booties front to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Front to back. You don't want no poo poo in that thing. You know, poo poo in front that BB. Poo poo in, in, in your your booty. Poo poo in your booty. Do you wipe from the back or through the middle? You can't go back to front. Well, then... I wipe. I wipe back down through my nuts. It looks like a skunk. I have skunk balls. Like, like, do you reach down and do it, or do you go behind or something? Oh, no, I... Yeah, I definitely reach down to the front, and I... What? Shovel it in like oh. an excavator. I don't do that. I don't mean... Good. I just, I just leave a stripe down, down the shaft. It's just the only way to go. <laughs> do, you do, the, uh, do you stand or sit? I, I know it, I know it tastes like shit, but it's interesting. <laughs> no, listen, guys. I have a really sensitive bunghole, so I take my sweet time with wipes and creams to uh, make sure that everything is uh, kosher down there. Monkey it's, butt. A, it's a process. <laughs> it's a process. Use that monkey uh, butt. I keep the crust out my drawers. So that's all that matters. Does it really have to be like this? I mean, every show. Can we just talk about normal shit. No. No. no normal shit. Not 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 hemorrhoid shit. Just normal shit. <laughs> what the, the fuck does that even mean? Uh, normal shit. Chat says uh, we need to get. A this is normal. Five a day. The only way to go. Oh, I do want. I have something to say. Okay, so I am on. His <laughs> I booted him. <laughs> what a dick. God damn. What were you saying? Say that again. We didn't okay, no, forget about it. What? Follow me on whatnot, bitches. There you go. Now follow me on whatnot. I also take uh, commissions on my Instagram. Um, I draw all stuff. He draws stuff. I don't. I don't draw wieners anymore. So mostly stick figures. Dick with bucks. wieners. I think tonight's show is pretty tame, even with all the pantless poop talk. We were pretty. pretty <laughs> this was pretty PG. This was an all all ages family show, I'd say. I don't know. We were talking about gold star lesbians and again for our normal our normal shows. This is pretty, pretty follow tame. me follow me on butt knot because that's exactly button. what's going on back there. There's a knot. Give me a sub on that. Uh, sit yeah, on. Yeah, never made it to forty. That's fucked up, you guys. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm gonna we literally hit thirty-eight. Way. There might have been thirty-nine. I saw thirty-eight, and then it went back up to thirty-seven. You know, honestly, and though, then it was all be, downhill honest, from there. It's nobody's fault. To be honest, it's nobody's fault. But if if everyone truly just hit up a close <laughs> friend or three, and said, "Hey, pop in the show," you know what, dude? Uh, it's nobody's fault but the panels, or but the chat. No, yeah, your. their fault. Yeah, yeah nobody's it's, fault it's but the chat. The people who are still commenting in the chat, it's it's their fault. It's this but, I mean, fault. while you're while you're while you're making conversation over there in the chat, it's you could have been out there. Fault. You could have been over there on Instagram. Listen, I have two friends that I could have said, show. yeah, and I I, I shared it, I, but two friends that I could have said, hey, come on over here. There's a giveaway. You just have to show up for about. Five to ten minutes. Don't even say anything, and then you can pop out. It, it you know who I didn't see the number. 
You know who I didn't see in the chat the whole fucking night? Sean Ryder. I bet if he would have shown up, five more people would have followed him. Nobody even knows away. who that fucking loser is. I what mean, a show. What, what, he hangs out on, like, what? Like, quote-unquote, high-class auctions? Like, Nobody come on, cares. get out of here. Get out of here. Nobody cares. I mean, you might see him on Jay Blitz, but you ain't gonna see him here with the cool people. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna see anybody on Jay Blitz, bro. Uh, have you guys ever seen that Key and Peele uh, skit where he's ordering a pizza and he's looking at his friends and his friends are like action figures? Like, have you ever seen that skit? He's ordering a pizza and he's like, he's a fat nerd. Uh, and he's like looking around at like his action figures like, hey, do you want pepperoni? Uh, <laughs> no. If only you would watch some shit like that. You guys need to see it. It's hilarious. You're a loser, dude. I am. Damn it. What? The Great Legend Show? Who the hell is this? Hey, what's up, man? You need some people? I was first comic auction. It was... I was the first comic auction, dudes. I will hook you guys up. Hey, hey, hey. First, we need proof. And then, also... Yeah, show us your screen. penis. Hit me no up butthole. on Instagram. No butthole, no care. That's a big claim, Legend Show. It's a big claim. No, we don't need people, but you can hit me up on Instagram so we can talk about stuff. History, because I want to know. What do you, what do you want to... You want us to come over and auction with you, or you want to auction with us? Or... Yeah, you have people, Legend? Talk to us. It's... Yes. The Great Legend Show. I'm going to find this guy on Instagram. He's got to be a pro. It's got to be great. He said it's in his name. Ask anyone. I was the first live comic book video ever on YouTube. Ever? I'm retired from doing auctions. Ugh. Coincidentally. So what do you, what do you need from us? or what do you, How are you going to help us, bro? What what can you do for us, great legend show? I'm gonna find this guy. See ya, Comic Forge. Later, man. Here he is. Here he is. I found him. I'm Jesus. going to YouTube right now. It's a I'm real find thing. this guy. I'm gonna find this guy who just shows up randomly. All right, all right. Hold on. Hold wow. On. I mean, if you type that into Google, it'll take you to his YouTube. Twitch, Facebook, no, he's here. Twitter. He's here. He's here. He's here. I found he's him. He's not here. I found him on YouTube. He's right here. You got a beard. You got a beard and a and wear a, a beanie. He does. He looks just like me. Oh, I mean, and a chef's handsome. hat too. Less handsome, but like me. He's. Are you a chef, dude? You're teaching people how to make egg drop soup, dude. That's like my favorite soup. I love egg drop soup. So underrated. I don't like that. I'm coming back through. Comics and egg drop soup, dude. You can't go wrong. I mean, don't put the comics in the soup. Don't eat the soup around the... Just keep them separated. Oh, I know who Legend yeah. is. I know who Legend is. I met him. I met him over on Strictly. I swear this is the same guy. Sure. Sure, let me listen. I don't hear his voice. I'm going way back on his on his videos, dude. Three years ago. Three years. Four years ago. Four years. I just want to hear his voice, then I'll know who he is. Five years ago. I see Pop Funko Pops. Five years ago. Have half a good mind to talk to my Oh mother. yeah, yeah, I met Legend on Strictly. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah, he so was he's on for the real. Uh, Legend, Legend was on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, he was on the show, the, uh, charity show for Heroes Initiative. Dude, he's I gotta tell you something, of... man. I just scrolled through eight years of his videos, and he's yeah, he used got to do shows. Yeah. Wow. I, I, didn't, I didn't recognize the name at first, but. Hold on. I'm going back nine guy. years ago. Bro. Yeah, Bro. Legend. He was he was he was a nice guy. There you go. Ten years ago, he has a comic book he's showing. Yeah, yeah, it's me. It's tricky. 
I met the dude. Wait, I know Legend. I follow him on Instagram already. Yeah, he's got a he's got a voice. He's got the wrestling voiced guy. <laughs> he's got a he's got a radio voice. That guy. He's got a face for the radio. Well, I mean, he's still not as handsome as me, but yeah, he's not ugly either. Few are, few are. Well, you can tell it's tricky because he's on top. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here, Parker says. Parker's on the bottom, Tricky's on the top. I <sighs> never on bottom. I do not. Other than other than the obvious, like this this thing says it all. You're on the bottom. It's just unless right it's there. in the mouth, I do not take it. <laughs> where are you? Where are you? How'd you pop in here, man? Did it show up on your feed, Legend? Did were you looking for uh, loser comic books? Were you, Dude, that's the hashtag any... I use right there. Hashtag loser comic books. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it worked. How did this show up in your feed, Legend, or did it just show up randomly? Did somebody tell you to come over here? Parker, we know what you did in prison. You know, half the time we sell comic book, the rest of the time we uh, do dick jokes. So, well, you know, sometimes poo. I'm a dick sandwich. Actually, poo. actually, I say half the time we sell comic books, but but all the time we tell dick jokes. That's better. There you go. That's accurate. there's all there's all sorts of people who. Who do say, I mean, it's true, there's a handful of people who say that they were the first auction, uh, comic auction on YouTube, so, so excuse us for being a little. Uh, no, it's pretty much anyone who was doing auctions about three or longer years ago likes to think that they were, like, way ahead of the curve, because that's when, around when I started about two years ago, everybody and their mom started doing fucking auctions. Yeah, push jokes, too, push jokes, too. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of gross puss out there. So, uh, one thing I'll say about puss is, uh, this Me. is just wise words, wise words from Tricky. If they're not taking care of the hole that you can see, they're not taking care of the hole you can't see. Keep that in mind. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Legends over four years ago. That's, that's a long time ago. Some of them well, meat drapes. No, I like that stuff. I'm just saying, you know, if they, if they got a funky grill and they're, and they're not caring about it. Like meaning it could be it could be crooked, but if it's funky as well, I wouldn't yeah. go, I wouldn't go anywhere else. You could stop at you could stop at the garbage mouth and and not go anywhere else. Hey, uh, legend, you want to come auction with us sometime? No, he's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> he already left. Oh, bye, legend. <laughs> he's not he's not said anything since three minutes ago. <laughs> he's gone. Well, maybe he just has nothing to say. No, no, he 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 has something to say. You don't pop in a chat and say I was the first one and then have nothing to say. He just said, "Fuck these guys." Yeah, these guys are assholes. Well, he I just mean, he wouldn't be wrong. He just, shared, he just shared my video to something. So, should we his do penis. a couple more? Should we do a couple more rounds or just he shared it to his, he shared it to his penis? Say fuck it. <laughs> well, let's see if anybody else pops in. <laughs> he shared it to oh, Tricky's shit. mom, kind of like everybody else does. Damn. It's not as funny when Papa Wheelie doesn't make the joke. Listen, kind of, you guys, kind of if you guys like, if you guys like hepatitis and herpes and meth, I mean, they're not wow. my favorite VDs. Meth now. <laughs> Then you guys will like you had me at meth. You lost me at mouth. <laughs> meth mouth. Uh. <laughs> meth where? Mouth. Uh, which will bring me to the next point. If you're not taking care of the the hole that people can see, you're not taking care of the hole that people can't see. Like this hole. Take care of those. Including shit. my mom. <laughs> Take care of those chompers, Mrs. Scarp. Uh, this is stupid. <laughs> I'm going to delete this. I'm out of here. Alright, later, bye. Oh shit, he shared it on Twitter and YouTube. What a cool <laughs> kid. Any back. Does that mean I'm famous? Does that mean I'm on the Twitter now? I'm famous? You're famous, I'm on man. the Twitter. I'm on the tweet. Hey, hey legend. 
come watching with us tomorrow, man. Legend, he's not. He's retired. He said he ain't coming. He's, re he's retired. I ain't doing anymore. I tied. All right, so I was on his thing. So let, let's go to his YouTube and see when the last. Thing, what's the last thing he's done? What's the most recent? Oh, I didn't Two months think ago. about that. CGC unboxing. Let's check out the CGC unboxing. <laughs> what do we get? Ba -dow, ba -dow, ba -dow. Ba -dow, ba -dow, a little fantastic four action. He likes some. Oh, he's got that Namor with the red undies. That's that's a. Would anybody stuff. like some Bayou funnies? <clears throat> yeah, he's still making content, man. He's still making content. Ten dollars for the pair. Ten dollars oh, for both. He's, he's just like ten years older than he when he started. That's all it is. Yeah, he's still in his thirties. If either of you are interested, you can bid away at ten bucks. Both issues. It's issue two and five. It's my only ones I have. My, you trying to sell my books? I bought them off of you. I paid for them. Yeah, if that's what you call it. Maybe if you'd want to put a number one, I would have kept them. Wow, I that's I need a two and a five. That I need planet, the Green Lantern, Planet of the Apes is pretty cool. Nine eight. So, uh, I seen a slab in there, and I had this idea. If anyone in the chat knows how to make me a, uh, it, I basically want a comic book stand. I always watch every now and then. Been doing this since. So, yeah, man. Looks like you got a shit ton of content out there. Uh, I need a. Th I want the thing. Kind of coming out of the ground, holding up a comic book, looking real grimace. But I don't know how to do it. I don't know if I want clay. I don't know if I want like a three D printed image or statue. But I need like something that would hold a comic. That's the thing. Holding the comic, looking real grim. Maybe I'll just sculpt it myself, like Picasso. Uh, White Ranger, Power Rangers book. It's Power Rangers Necessary Evil is the subtitle. It's the story arc. It's just Power Rangers number 40. Yeah. Actually, Legend, I, I wanted to find you on that show, but I could not find you. Because everyone was talking so often that I couldn't ask you what your Instagram was. I meant to try to find you that, that night, though. $8 starting bid. $8. These are, I have a few available. They're $10 buy it now. So I can start one at 8 bucks. And if that's what it goes for. That's what it goes for. It's a shiny, foily, fun, fun, fun. Tim Fam. Mm -hmm. Near Mint Plus. $8 stock. Let's just, let's just make that an $8 bin. Eight dollar legend show. You are a young man at forty four. Eight dollar bin. Buy it now. Eight dollars. Ah, uh, Venom three hundred. The final issue. This came out last week. That a Gleason? Yeah, Gleason cover. It's also number 35, but in general, it's the 200th issue of Venom. Gle Patrick Gleason variant, $9.99 cover price. Uh, I have a $15 buy it now on this. That's cool, but. Yeah. $15 bin. Square bound. There you go, Tricky. A 
it's a fifteen dollar bin. I, I can do fourteen actually. Promiscuous. What do you know? Somebody that uh makes comic book stands. So tricky, what you should actually get is like a penis going right into a vagina and the book kind of lays on the penis and locks in with the vagina. What do you think? I don't know. What, what does he think about that? Silent. Know, he's on mute. He's an Man, asshole. It's too much for him. Uh, Sweet Tooth number one. This is a near mint minus copy. Looks like two faint little ticks. They just barely break color. Um, right there's one. And then right here is maybe like it, whatever. Here, I'll show you. I can see it. He's by the staple. Yep, yeah, there it is. By the staple oh, is, yeah. right above it. The yeah, rest that's pretty solid. Solid. I mean, that's, that's yeah. not color breaking, right? The bottom one just slightly is. You can just see a slight faint whiteness to it. Yeah, right there. Yeah. But it, it's overall, it's in the nines. But it's it's not a perfect copy. Right? No. Sweet Tooth number one. Uh, it's a $100 bin. I started at 75 Yeah, that's that's really as low as I'd like to go because that's all it goes for us. Seventy five for the sweet tooth. What's up, Joe? Um, I got more stuff I can keep looking for, but I think we're winding down. If you guys want more books, let me know or let me know what you're looking for. Oh, I'm getting hot sooner that we stop i can turn the air conditioner back on so <laughs> i also want you guys to know i mean it's totally my choice but i had a free ticket to a seven dust concert tonight and i was like nah i gotta do the auction really really i've seen them twice and i'm not like the world's biggest fan or anything Plus, I have a sprained toe, so I can't really... I couldn't have enjoyed it very much. Uh, I would have had to just sort of sit or lean against something, and it would have been a lot of pain standing up the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I was like, nah, I gotta do the auction. I don't want to you know, disappoint my, my fans. I can't disappoint my, my subs. The masses who want to see us. I can't disappoint the great legend. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm here instead, and I'm okay with it. I passed on Seven Dust. How anti metalhead you call yourself a music fan? <laughs> yeah, there was literally no one like opening for them that I had even heard of. So there wasn't any other bands with them. Where were they playing? <laughs> what were they playing? Or where? What'd you say? Where? It's at the Rust Belt in East Moline. Yeah, so it would have been what? Oh, uh, it's East kind Moline. of small venue. Yeah, really, really tiny. Like it used to be a farm equipment, like a big barn or like a, a Rust Belt, whatever that is. I don't know. So I would have had to drive like twenty-five minutes. Just that's actually close for most concerts. Usually you're driving out of town, but it would have been a little bit of a drive. I would have kind of been in pain. I would have had to give give up a show. Ah, I leave you guys hanging. Didn't want to do it, so my loss. Did Joey share this? Who? What? When? He said Joey. Joey Bag shared this. Probably a lot of people. I think I'm up to like twelve people have shared it, but we never hit the forty viewers we needed. Joey Bag is the man. Um, I have a giveaway I can do. 
I might, I might stream. I'll probably stream on my channel and play some MK, and then people can talk shit. Okay. If anyone is interested in this, just for those who hung out with us, um, anybody who's present can win. I'll just do like a pick a number thing for a winner. There might you guys might not even want this. So, how about last giveaway? We couldn't we couldn't give it away. <laughs> no one would guess. It's like ah, um, this is an issue of Epic Illustrated. Just a random old issue. There's nothing too uh, important about it. It is a uh, what number? Couldn't even tell you. October 83 issue. It's the conclusion of The Last of the Dragons. Um, this, this is free. If anyone wants it, I'll just do a pick a number thing. I guess it was a newsstand. And with it, I, I have another magazine too. I probably don't even want it. It's Strange Galaxy, I think number eight. Yeah, number eight. From the seven, like 71. But it's like a remaindered copy. Top of the cover got cut off. But uh, it's just a free throw in. If you don't want it, that's okay. I'll keep it. I can line my bird cage with it. I don't have birds. Um, but if anybody wants this for free, it's just a be fun read. I mean, there's a bunch of comics in it. They're all sci fi, space related, early 70s. Cool stuff for absolutely free. Uh, we'll do a pick a number thing. Uh, whoever wins can win both. If you don't want the. Maybe you want this one, but you don't want this. We can do another drawing for this. Or you can just pick someone and I'll give it to them. Um, so, yeah, I will drop a starting line. I'll pick a number between 1 and 15. There's 15 people watching. You guys can pick as many times, pick as many numbers as you want. And, uh, yeah, if someone wants it, they can they can have these. I just clear some space. Again, this is what you're going to try to win. I'm going to drop a starting line. Pick a number between 1 and 15. If you get it right, they're yours. If you, whatever, yeah. If you're not interested, don't even vote. Don't even guess. I don't care. But yeah, sorry we couldn't get that, uh, the 40 viewers, get those giveaways going. Um, I do appreciate everybody who shared the video or did, did the screenshot thing. Yes, that was really awesome of you all. Appreciate everybody who left a thumb. And if you guys haven't, could you please hit a thumbs up? Subscribe if you're not already. And thanks again. Here's the starting line. Got the number in my head. I forgot to type it in the private chat. Starting line. But you can vote it. You can guess as many times as you want. Kickoff got it first try. Go figure. 11. Good. It's going with 11. So, yeah, if you want those, they're yours. If you don't want the Strange Galaxy, I can do another pick for that one. But it's fun. It's a you know, it's a thing. It's just cut up. Damaged comics need love, too. But I'll send you those for free. Free shipping. Good pick. Good guess. Good job. Yay, yay, yay. All right. Uh, I think that's all we're doing. I will try to go live. I don't have my daughter for the rest of the week. So I'll probably do some afternoon shows. Yeah, cool. Sounds good, K-pop. Um, yeah, I'll try to maybe go live tomorrow afternoon or something. Tomorrow or Thursday, just in the around two o'clock, one o'clock. Do a little lunchtime sale, hangout sesh. Or uh, if any of you other guys or anybody who's watching is doing a show, want to have me on? Cool, let's do it. Hey, I, I gotta, I gotta let my dogs out. So everybody have a good night. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and the earth is flat. The earth is flat. <laughs> Peace. All right, later, Phil. And then there was one. Now I got all that dead weight off. Now we can really start the show. All right, here we go. Round one. Just kidding. Yeah, if anyone wants to, uh, whatever. You know, have any shows going on? I got I got this whole week off. I got nothing to do. No work until Saturday. No kid until Monday. Did you know what's happening here? I'll take it. Okay. Sounds good. I will do that for you guys. Appreciate you guys watching.
everybody who commented at all, anybody who bid. T Pain, he gets his own separate things. All my panelists, my fellow sellers, if you would like to be on this panel and sell sometime in the near future, um, most all are welcome. Just hit me up on IG, slide in them DMs, and we can talk about it. As long as I I know you've sold, you've sold before, or I can go watch a previous video of you selling, and you know, as long as you don't suck at it, we'll make it work. Um, all right, yeah, uh, that's all I got. Goodbye. Peace.